close. Brother David DeCurdy, if you'd just come. Brother David and lead us in prayer. I want to remember Jeremiah Howe at home, sick with the fever. If you have a need upon your heart, just ask. The Lord would meet you. If you could just touch out, reach out and touch the hem of his garment this evening as we pray. Brother David, God bless you. Dear Lord Jesus, Lord, we count it a great privilege to come.
Amen. Maybe if you have a need tonight, just lift it before the Lord. Amen. I was just thinking, the Lord never promised that we wouldn't have. sing it the blood it's not hard to believe standing on the mountain tops of glory
When you can hear the song of angels And the breeze from heaven sends your spirit soaring But in the valley once more Will Jesus still be Lord? That's the question For believing when believing isn't easy That is the testing Oh, I need faith for the time When the sun does not shine And the mountaintop is just a memory when there's no signs to be seen And I don't feel a thing To the Word of God alone I must cling And I need faith for the day When trouble comes my way And I just don't understand what it means that's when nothing else will do Faith alone will get me through And believing becomes my victory It's not hard to believe When things are going well and skies are sunny When you feel you're making progress Doing good, living in a time of plenty Oh, but if all of that should change Would you still keep the faith? That's the question isn't easy that is the testing oh I need faith for the time when the sun does not shine and the mountaintop is just a memory when there's no signs to be seen and I don't feel a thing just don't understand what it means Oh, that's when nothing else will do Faith alone will get me through And believing becomes my victory Oh, I need faith for the time When the sun does not shine the mountaintop is just a memory When there's no signs to be seen And I don't feel a thing To the Word of God alone I must cling And I need faith for the day When trouble comes my way And I just Yes, that's when nothing else will do Faith alone will get me through And believing becomes my victory
kuwasalimu nyote katika jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Kama mnanisikia tafadhali nipungie mkono nijue tuko pamoja. Thank you very much. Sauti inafika huko Huko nyuma kama mnasikia sauti inua mkono ndio nijue tuko sawa. Thank you, thank you very much. I want to welcome all of you. Na wakaribisha nyote katika kikao hiki. Eh, na tungependa kuomba ili tuanze tuanze mkutano. Let's pray. Thank you Lord for your grace uh, for enabling us to be here and for the mercies that you have shown us uh, traveling mercies the journey mercies and taking care of every one of us uh, we don't take that for granted and now Lord as we begin this uh, meeting uh, to celebrate the life of our mother Lord I pray that you be with us and guide every step of the way and at the end of it Lord we will give you all the glory and all the praise we commit everything into your hands including the service and the speaking of the word may you come and take them over in jesus name i pray haya asanteni sana kabla tuanze shughuli ambazo ziko mbele yetu ningetaka kuwapatia a brief layout ya vile hii area iko ndio ukitaka kuji kuji kujisaidia ujue vile utafanya uh, niko na vio upande wangu wa kulia on my right we have uh, some toilets right there gents and ladies uh, vio za wanaume na za wanawake uh, ndani ya nyumba kuna cho lakini hicho ni cha familia peke yake so let's uh, observe that strict guideline na kule nyuma ya nyumba kuna uh, there is another latrine there that you can feel free to use Okay, number two, uh, tuko hapa kwa ruhusa ya serika. Serikali sababu ya vile mambo yako uh, kutoka last year. So, I would request you, tafadhali, let's observe the COVID-19 rules. Keep your mask up. At least sasa tuko nje. Kwa hivyo hewa hiko mingi. Sindio? Hatuko indoors. So, you can keep your mask on. Ukaya na barakoa yako ili uweze ku mkinga yule ambaye yako karibu na wewe. Sawa sawa. Tusikaribiane sana. E, vile viti zimepangwa usizipangue. Tusikaribiane sana hata kama hatujaonana kwa muda mrefu sana. Alafu Mungu atatusaidia. Uh, ukiingia pale ukitoka hata uende kwa magari ukirudi tafadhali osha mikono e, ama usanitize. Uh, ndio tuweze ku keep everyone uh, doing fine otherwise we are here to celebrate a life well a life well well lived sawa sawa mama alikuwa na miaka mingi sana so tunashukuru mungu kwa hiyo miaka yote ambayo amempatia so tukue uh, tukue na hiyo attitude na hiyo mood ya kushukuru mungu for all the years that he has given mom for us to be with her Sawa sawa. So uh, wacha tuanze na hiyo wimbo iko kwa program yenu inaitwa Great is Thy Faithfulness as I request to, uh, uh, as I request the pole bearers to go close to the uh, to the vehicle that was carrying the body uh, tujitayarishe kuingisha mwili wa mam. Great is Thy Faithfulness number 5 Tunaweza simama tutaketi muda mrefu simameni ndio mstretch damu sababu mtaketi muda mrefu sana Great is thy faithfulness O God my Father there is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changes not, thy compassions they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Oh 
Keti alafu tuendele kuimba hiyo chorus wanapoingisha uh, mwili Great is thy faithfulness Great is thy faithfulness Morning by morning new mercies I see And all I have need at thy hand has son of this lady. We welcome you mourners. If there's a problem with any issue, feel free to contact any of the family members. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Uh, so we'd like to uh, begin by recognizing all the pastors and all the ministers who may be present here today, please stand up so that we appreciate you. Tafadhali simameni wahuduma wote. Thank you very much. Tuwape makofi tafadhali. Thank you very much. We recognize you and uh, we appreciate you. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, kwa wale ambao wanaingia hivi sasa ningetaka kuwakumbusha about the covid protocols we have mentioned them please uh, observe them because we are here under the permission of the of the government and we would want to uh, respect that uh, particular opportunity that uh, they have given us uh, to be to be here so ningetaka kuanzisha program by having uh, the reading of the eulogy Justice James Rika to come and uh,
This is the eulogy. Our mother was born, Jane Wanjiro Kagai, on Christmas Day, the 25th of December, 1935, at Viha village, Mukuroeni Nyeri. Her father was PCE A clergy, the Reverend John Kagai Kego. Her mother was PCEA Women's Guild co-founder, Rose Nyashomba Kagai. She was the third child of the Reverend John Kagai and Nyashomba, coming after Victoria Waboy and Lucy Mudoni. After her were seven other children, James Kego, Samuel Wambugo, Bildad Kanure, Mary Warigia, Joseph Moigua, Margaret Wairimo, and Catherine Wadiha. She grew up in a relatively large family of 10 children. They were brought up well by their disciplined, Christian but not authoritarian parents. She grew up like the rest of the girls in the family, assisting in drawing water from River Diha, gathering firewood, cooking, and picking coffee. Our mother attended Gikondi Intermediate School in Mukuroene, Nyeri, where she schooled up to class eight. She earned her grades and proficiency in the core subjects. Our mother married Captain Josper Rika from the Salvation Army in or around the year 1916. The Salvation Army at the time required married clergy to have a dual clergy role. Therefore, Captain Josper Rika and our mother were trained together by the church head office at Nairobi based on the teachings of the co-founder of the Salvation Army Catherine Booth. After training, the couple was sent out to evangelize throughout Kenya. They had stints in Maragua, Machakos, and Thika Joy Town, a school for the differently abled. The couple was blessed with eight children, mostly born at different evangelical workstations. The children in order of birth, Angema, 1962, Elijah, 1964, Kagai, 1965, I was born in 1967, Rose, the first died at Machakos, 1969-1970, then Rose, the second, was born in 1971, he's also known as Nyashomba, Kego, 1974, and Wamboy, 1977. They were blessed with grandchildren, Shiro the first, Kora, Shiro the second, Joki, Hati, Harold, Tristan, Todd, Hope, Caleb, Precious, Billy, Elisha, and Enoch. The couple disengaged from the Salvation Army leadership around the year 1974. They relocated to Nyeri Town, where Captain Jospat Rika was employed by Farmlands Company as a salesperson, while our mother stayed home, fully devoted to bringing up her children. About 1977, the year one boy arrived, Captain Jospat Rika relocated to the family farm at Kambiti, where he lived until his demise in the year 2008, while mom opted to relocate to her parents' home at Tiha, Mukuruaini. In 1990s or thereabout, mom got the revelation of the message of the hour as revealed through the prophet William Marion Branham. William Marion Branham. She began to fellowship at the Mukuroini Bible Believers Church under the pastorship of Pastor Johnson Gekandi. She then relocated to Naromoru and fellowshiped 
in the same faith at the Naromoru Bible Believers Church, and up until her demise was under the pastorship of Pastor Kingori. Mom loved the Lord. She was always humming a gospel song. Every night, without fail, she would read a message book. She eventually got an Agapao tablet, which she treasured. Growing up, we had praise and worship around the fireplace, singing songs from Nyeboshia Kuiniragai, as well as Nyeboshia Keroho, and the only believe songs. She was the true epitome of the fifth gospel to her children. Back at the theater in Mokroene, Mom successfully applied and was taken for training at Nairobi in family planning under the Ministry of Health. This was around 1978. She left the children in the care of the Ashosho as she made the bold move to build her capacity and have a stable job and income. After she completed her training and was waiting for absorption into the ministry, she applied for the position of a polling clerk in the national elections of November 1979. She was contracted and faithfully played her role in the conduct of the elections of 1979 within Mukuruaini constituency. At that time, there was no presidential election, Kenya having been a de facto one-party state, with Kanu as a single party. There were, however, 742 Kanu candidates competing for 100 and 58 National Assembly seats. And to her credit, Mam played a significant role in this democratic exercise. Eventually, she was employed by the Ministry of Health at the beginning of 1980. She moved her family from her parents' home at Thiha to Ishamara Dispensary in Mukruene, from where she faithfully discharged her new role as a family health officer, walking the length and breadth of Mukruaini, educating the public about the government policy of family planning. Those who are familiar with the terrain at Mukruaini will agree it is hilly, slippery when wet, and does not make it easy to walk. Mom walked long distances, discharging her public service obligations. There was no provision for government transport. She just walked and walked. She managed to educate all her children and see them settle down in their own lives. Retirement and arrival at Naromoru, eventually her contract with the government came to an end and mom looked for a retirement home. She purchased the land where we are gathered today in late 1980s built her own home and spent the rest of her fulfilled life mentoring us into adulthood, seeing the family and society grow around her. She loved this home, having struggled to acquire and develop it. She bought it with her life's savings. One of her favorite things was that Naromoru Totikoima. We do not intend to leave Naromoru for other places in Kenya. After her constant movement around the country, she had found her ideal home. We hope those she lives here shall keep this home in one piece, respecting the sanctity of this home and the neighborhood as mom would have wished. Her illness and demise, our mom was a strong woman, physically, mentally, and spiritually. She has had good health all through the years. She has always carried us, even when we are grown up. She, however, like some of her siblings, 
had bouts of high but manageable blood pressure. Early in March this year, her blood pressure rose to a level the doctors advised resulted in a semi-stroke. Her mobility was adversely affected as well as belatedly her speech. At the core, her brain too was affected, the end result being inability to feed well. The doctors agreed these were age-related health issues. After a long journey of 86 plus years, her body had become weary. She was on advice of her doctor, Mugoi Muturi, admitted at Nanyuki Cottage Hospital on 19th April 2021. She underwent all relevant medical procedures. She responded well, and the doctor advised the doctor discharged her on the 27th April 2021. She continued to be treated at home with a devoted nurse, Consolata Dirango, visiting her for medication and monitoring twice a day. On 15th May 2021, nurse Consolata made her routine visit. She cleaned mom. She gave her medication Mom gave her usual hearty laugh and transitioned. To say that we will miss her is an understatement. Wakagai, as we children jokingly called her, has lived a full life. She has come full circle. She lives on in us, snippets of who she was, wafting out of each of her beloved children Death has not overcome this matriarch. She has triumphed. In a little while, mother, we shall be together again. All that you loved and all that loved you, together again, rest easy, ma. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Jimmy. Uh, let's sing that song, uh, Peace in the Valley, it's song number one. As I welcome any representative of the government, maybe the chief or the assistant chief, to also welcome us here. Well, I'm tired and so weary, but I must go along till the Lord comes and calls me away. bright and the lamb is the light and the night night is as fair as the day oh yes oh there will be peace in the valley be peace. 
Absence of uh, anyone. Oh, thank you. Welcome, Karibu. Asante. Kwa majina mi na ito are diawa imwa karaoke. Ni mimi nazimamia hii kijiji kama msewa kijiji hata mkiona ni mama. <laughs> eh hado haine haitora lele. Eh chifo ona munini wake sub chief ne magire na kaudo kama hegire. Kwogwo datu mwarenie hado ine ha dirikali. Kwogwo hida lele ne gomo nyito aganige ikalo geke. Itora lele nere ya murua na ne itora lea dhayo. Ona korone tonya liretu wa niaisi angobe, mwadha ni agosho. Niyodo wa geto mikeu, moigwe moiga neire ate itora lele mwanyitu wa geni. Na kaudoka nini geda kuga, leudagi ya na chance. Ni ate niyodo wa meseji isi itora tumero siya hudu manamba. Modo oto modo atomero ero kevu keva dega kenye kuduma ya kaya yume ida kodo koge ne waiga message wa fa wa dikore sub chief ne ya zahote koge rero hatari nolito iguai mo iga neire na gai vitu amola zime mahida moja ne waiga mo no thank you very much for kutukaribisha ninge taka kualika the daughters of mom to come and give their tribute. Um, Gemma, Rose and uh, Wamboy, you can all come and then uh, uh, whoever is reading, one of you will read uh, the tribute. As Chana, our mom. we say this, we loved you so much in life and even as you sleep now, we love you more. Here we are, your three daughters struggling to find the words to put into contest. What a great woman you are, encouraging ourselves as we reflect on various, on values that you taught us, on how to be good women in the society. You brought us up so well and 
and role modeled how to be a mother. He taught us values of hard work, integrity, resilience, respect, kindness, forgiveness, assertiveness. The list is endless, ma'am. You are our heroine. We hope that we can still, we can instill those same values in our children, your beloved grandchildren, who will sadly be deprived of the physical presence of, your, of their sweet grandma. Truly, a mother is a girl's first best friend. You are our best friend, our comfort zone, our sounding board, our go-to place. Your love for us was enormous. We love you so much and we'll always love you. Mommy, we believe you'll be looking down on us from heaven and you'll always be our guiding star. Sleep well, Mom. You'll never, never be forgotten. You live on in our hearts until, until we meet again, again Mom. Give them a coffee better. Give them a better hand clap. Thank you very much. Uh, we stand with you, the girls of Mom. Uh, let me invite John. John Kagai. He's one of the sons of uh, Mom. to mom and uh, it's from an uh, extract of a poet who was called Jerry Steffi. I start, she was not lofty in her ways, nor sounded herself a trumpet as she humbly went about from day to day raising a decent family and attending to what else God determined to be her lot in this life. She had no great desire for fame, but none could take her place. She was as modest as could be, minding only the message and her family's welfare. She was just the way we wanted her to be, a real mother, irreplaceable. God, God granted us great favor when he gave us mom, Jeno and Jiro. Kiko, I don't know where you are. Let me just read it. Dear mom, this is for Kiko and Billy. Dear mom, God knows we loved you. We cannot now comprehend the way ahead without you and your demonstrated motherly love in our midst. We are missing you and this will not change. We are thankful though that for all, for all the years you nurtured us. The sweet memories of your love will never fade from our memory. Fare thee well, mom, grandmother. God bless you. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, John, uh, for reading that. Um, let me welcome uh, Justice James Rika to read his tribute. again good afternoon uh, my tribute is uh, from a poem by the Lebanese poet Khalil Gibran it is not on the program so please just listen it is about death you would know the secret of death but how shall you find it unless you seek it in the heart of life the all whose night-bound eyes are blind unto the day, 
cannot unveil the mystery of light. If you would indeed behold the spirit of death, open your heart wide unto the body of life. For life and death are one, even as the river and the sea are one. In the depth of your hopes and desires lies your silent knowledge of the beyond. And like seeds dreaming beneath the snow, your heart dreams of spring. Trust the dreams, for in them is hidden the gate to eternity. Your fear of death is but the trembling of the shepherd when he stands before the king whose hand is to be laid upon him in honor. Is the shepherd not joyful beneath his trembling that he shall wear the mark of the king? Yet is he not more mindful of his trembling? For what is to die but to stand naked in the wind and melt in the sun? And what is to cease breathing that to free the breath from its restless tides that it may rise and expand and seek God unencumbered? Only when you drink from the river of silence shall you indeed sing. And when you have reached the mountain top, then you shall begin to climb. And when the earth shall claim your limbs, then shall you truly dance. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Let me welcome uh, Sarah Karaoke to come and uh, sing a song uh, as we continue with the tributes.
Uh, I'd like to invite uh, the daughters-in-law of mom, Jane Damaris and uh, Mwikali. Please come forward and uh, read your tributes. You can all come and then uh, read your tributes uh, each. Don't you hear the bells now ringing? be reading on behalf of Jen Kagai, a daughter-in-law. Mom, thank you mother-in-law for all that you have done. You took great care of your daughters, sons, daughters-in-law, sons-in-law and grandchildren. You loved us all from the very start with your warm, kind and loving heart. Thank you mother for being strong while trying to teach us right from wrong. If any time we had a problem, you were there to help us solve them. You'd lift us up when you were feeling blue. Thank you, Mother, for we could always count on you. You're such an awesome mother to us all. The love you showed was like no other. Thank you, Mother, for your dear sweet love. Now you watch over us from heaven above. May the light of our best memories guide you on, our, on your way. Through heaven you will travel until we all meet someday from your daughter-in-law, Jen Kagai. My name is, I'm daughter-in-law to, to my mom, to Jen Kagai, and this is my tribute. 26 years ago, I joined Kagai's family. My mom loved me and received me like one of her daughters. She loved my chapatis, which I used to cook for her on Christmas Day to mark her birthday. I remember when I lost my late husband, she told me, Mama Shiro, I love you so much. Don't leave me. Stay with me. Life must continue. I promise. I prom I promise her not to leave because you are great friends. Just like Ruth from the Bible who said where you live, I will live. Where you lodge, I will lodge. And your people shall be my people. <laughs> Where you die, I will die. Where you be buried, I will be buried. Only death shall separate us. Mom, I'll miss you. I'll miss your love and advice. Less in peace till we meet again. Amen. Good afternoon. I'm Mwekali Rika. I'm going to read my tribute to mom. Mom in law, they say, and yet somehow I simply cannot forget that it was you who watched Jimmy's baby's way who taught him his first hymn of praise. It was you who taught him to be kind and true and molded him to the man he is today. I shall never forget how much I owe you. You taught us to look above. You stood with us during turbulent times when life's oceans threatened to drown us. You held us up in prayer. So I think of that today and with a thankful heart I say, 
Go gently, ma'am. We would have loved to spend more time with you, but God knows best. Till we meet again, fly with the angels, ma'am. Your daughter-in-law, my Kali. Thank you very much. Take heart. God sees every tear that falls. If it matters to you, it also matters to him. Let me invite um, all the grandchildren to come and give their tribute. All the grandchildren, please come. And your tribute will be read by Shiro Elijah. All of you come so that we may see you. All the grandchildren of uh, Mama. a wonderful grandmother, one who never really grew old. Her smile was made of sunshine, and her heart was solid gold. Her eyes were as bright as shining stars, and in her cheeks fair roses you see. We had a wonderful grandmother, and that's the way it will always be. But take heed, because she's still keeping an eye on all of us. Grandma, your life was full of loving deeds, forever thoughtful of our special needs. Today and tomorrow, our whole lives through, we will always love and cherish you. There was magic in Grandma's touch and sunshine in her smile. There was love in everything she did to make our lives worthwhile. We found both hope and courage just by looking in her eyes. Her daughter, her laughter was a source of joy, her words warm and wise. There was a kindness and compassion found in her embrace. And shining down from heaven above, we see the glow of Grandma's face. So let's make sure she will like what she sees. Your beloved grandchildren, Cora, Caro, Shiron, Joki, Hati, Harold, Caleb, Hope, Precious, Billy, Enoch, Elisha, Tristan, and Todd. Thank you very much. Take heart, children. Uh, at this juncture, I'd like to welcome Pastor Kengori. I'm sorry, delegation should go upwards, downwards, but now I'm requesting you to help me sing this song. It's in our programs. Uh, it's called uh, Toraga De No. Ah, go to the Kukira to Inaru Bororo. Now, by Nya, the Inua tribute. Datura gade no darieta muge dio ete tiajera haria do ibere ire no haria haria mare no ikata moishi kanata mote gyo tegete nyoni yorone maida makome nya Jesu ne mono kya ne mukuri wa kwa. Itawa zawa kem ne ude woko de kime nyaga no go kagi nyai guru ide o guti ari wakonyo ne de dia jira ya mwayo ne mwadani wakwa ne de cha yohono ne wama kidu amia wega jira ya mwayo. Ayuene komuela, muni te te jela, ya gudi e gudu. We menye le le, do ya kono si anu, e kai le jela inde. Namuga pawa yo, no tamaguta. Namuro tawa yo, ne koe ti diado, jela yo zeli. Inyemwe li le ili. 
kinyama twinde mwikan theline muthenya wa kinya no tukabata na ide ono go mukamenya wega no damwiraga yoke na lya teru yali managa da geiro kuma muthenya lya thino Thank you very much. You may have your seats. Neza Keti, uh, one last tribute uh, from Carol Elijah, please. And then uh, we'll go to a few speeches and close it off. Good afternoon to all. I'm Elijah. I'm Elijah's first daughter. To those who doesn't know me, I have a tribute to my shosh. Hi shosh, it's Jane Wamoyo, your granddaughter. A part of me was snatched away from me. On that fateful day, you are precious, wonderful, everything a grandchild would wish in a grandmother. I'm grateful to God for the beautiful moments we shared together. Regardless being a grandmother, you were a close friend where you kept assuring and mentoring me in every challenges i met in life so i will live to remember my grandmother with the words she used to tell me jane my granddaughter what did you receive at the end of the year the one that gives me the spirit of decency me on whatever progressing or stagnating what do i say shosh you are a very special person that always had a smile on her face accompanied by her cheerful laugh that would always make any one day much better for me is much more than that i will miss you most thank you thank you very much uh, uh carol okay at this juncture i'd like to welcome a few friends of, of the family to just uh, say a word uh, I'll give you a minute or two each uh, so that we can try and uh, redeem some time. Okay. Uh, Honorable Justice H.P.G. Wawero, please come and uh, give your tribute. salimia nyote hamjambo uh, naitwa Waweru uh, jajirika ni mwenzangu na siko peke yangu tumekuja tukiwa uh, watu kadhaa kutoka judiciary uh, can i see you all briefly please anyone else from the judiciary judge marete is somewhere around this is judge uh, zioki wa makau uh, I have known Judge Eureka for a long time. We practiced uh, law together in Nyeri. I joined the judiciary uh, quite a little while before him, but we've been colleagues now for quite some time. We are also neighbors at home, at uh, Chaka, uh, though we have not had occasion to visit uh, each other lately because he's stationed in Mombasa. I'm stationed at Nanyuki. Tumekuja ku Mafariji, tumekuja ku Kondol na Nyinyi. Kifo kama jajirika mwenyewe alisema katika tribute yake is part of life. Without a death there can't be life. And we are all headed there. No one lives forever. One must eventually exit this world. I think what matters is how one has lived their life. And this great lady who lies here has had a wonderful life and has brought up a wonderful family. We can only thank God for the time she had with her family and the foundation that she has given to her family will no doubt 
lead them in their lives to achievements, to good relations with anyone, and to fulfillment of their own lives. So let's not be sad, let's celebrate this great lady, Asante Sana. Thank you, thank you very much, Justice. I uh, also welcome Justice Nzioki wa Macau. Please come and uh, say a word. Morega, Jetawa Nzioki wa Macau, and I met Rika when we were about 13 years old nilikuwa nasoma na yeye huko starehe na baadaye ndio nikakuja kukutana na yeye tena kama judge katika ile koti sasa na hudumu hii ya wafanyikazi Enrica and the rest of the family I know you cared a lot for mom and even uh, just the week before she passed you were in touch with me for something you wanted done and I suspect the person who did it, you call him out. Uh, and I know you cared so much. If there was anything we would have been able to do as your friends, as your colleagues, to make sure that mom doesn't go, we would have done it. But because God called her home, we can only say it is well, and that God will give you comfort, because he's the one who appoints the time which we will have here on earth. Na kwa wale wengine mjajipanga kama huyu mama hii ndio wakati wa kujipanga ili ile siku utaitwa nawe uwe tayari kwa maisha sio ya hapa duniani peke yake Asante Thank you thank you very much for that advice uh, let's take heed uh, I'd like to welcome honorable Muthui Karioki and as he comes I want you to Give him a very good hand clap, and I'll tell you why. He's the county executive for roads, Nyeri County. And just before this occasion, he, he fixed this road. Uh, he fixed this road so that we can have an easy time uh, coming here. So give him a better hand clap. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Well, now that uh, you've decided to give me a surprise, it is true what he has said, but it's not just that. That we did, because uh, really, this is home, this is mom who is lying here. But you may not know it, but I have got some other connection with this home. I've never been to this house. Uh, I met this lady long, long time ago through one uh, of uh, my sons. And my son is uh, Justice Rika. Uh, <laughs> Justice uh, Hatari Waweru, uh, they may not have told you, but uh, I taught this young man, and I taught uh, <laughs> that judge there. You know, and I'm saying this because it's really not about mourning. We are here to celebrate uh, this young man, uh, this uh, lady. Um, and the two judges have a tendency of giving me a surprise, like they have just given me. You know, when I was appointed uh, minister in the government of Nyeri, uh, we went to pay a courtesy call uh, to the judges. And uh, who wakes up? Uh, Justice uh, Wamakau. And I had never seen the gentleman. And uh, like my colleagues, why is that judge looking at you? And uh, of course, when you are in the presence of judges, you know, uh, you try to get scared. Eh? You know? <laughs> and uh, what went through my mind was, what have I done again? I've been in Nairobi for so many years, but nearly I could not have done anything. And that is when I came to learn that uh, that the judge and this one were my students. And uh, let me tell you, there isn't a better profession than being a teacher. You know, because that is the best investment. The best investment. I will, after I leave Nyeri uh, government, I will be left. Uh, I will leave and people will forget me. They will forget the roads you know, I've been doing in Yeri. But he will never forget me, and he will never forget me, and all those people I taught with them. And I believe I've uh, 
played a small role in developing this country. I love the fact that you've given me credit for the road we did. It's not me who did it. It is your government. She served that road. I wish we could have done it earlier. Uh, what we are doing in our government is that uh, we want to get to what we call Mashinani with your governor, uh, Mutahi Kahiga, who has given us all the time to work for you because it's our business to work for you. And I hope when time comes, you will remember him. Do I have your promise that uh, you remember Mutahi Kahiga? Please, when he comes around asking for votes, don't tell him you never saw him because you've seen him through the invitation of this great lady. It's unfortunate that we have come uh, when she's already gone. I wish I had met her earlier uh, to hear all the good things I've heard about her. Justice Rika and your family, Poresana. Poresana again, I know uh, I lost my mother, I lost my father. You have lost your mother, you've lost your father. Welcome to the club of orphans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable, and thank you for reminding us we should put our best foot forward. There's uh, very many judges around. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let me welcome Uncle George, Engineer George Joroge. Sorry for ambushing you, but uh, please come and say something Kihinga da Mushiosio. Rivera Joe Jane, Neatera Dokira Mushiosio Akagai, Negatananga Hanin, Kedata nineteen seventy five, Gege Rakai to Karea, Da Corida Mushi, we get to Agamuno, Guarina to Ku, Godonaga, the retired, retired. Um, President Mwai Kibake Ku, Nandu Metagwa Jerry Geshoke, the late Jerry Geshoke, a great man, Nandu Angeta Ashio. So you can imagine it was quite intimidating for me. Yeah, while you are Roman and Nemun Oshio, Namundurawagua Tiriogeni, a Jane, Naki Dorawega Muno, Natukia Dugun and Nemuno Miake Oyode. Now, every time I visited Mukroi in Damokora, Aji Ragareo, to me gonga gonga. Kamuri ani kiki wa kanji na kamuki mo karia we dete muno. Yeah, ni toa ge tumire ndo go nene muno na ke. Nasi ana si ake gioka kuma menya we ga muno na tu kia dana muno nao. Kinya ta gimatu atura ga na ke kure na irobi. Kahinda kai ga no na na tu kia ndo go nene muno. Da notice your orivu ati genius share to Christmas Day. He ka odu family ni ino ga usiaro. Mwerine wa December. My daughter, as she had Christmas Day, on a key with a wajiru, on a key, Tago Ajiru Natura Ganaku America, as she had it Christmas Day. Nahale and Gay Gihana Dramon, her Hamasia to twenty fifth Christmas Day, twenty six, twenty seven, Genagia twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty eight, Marumane Iriogo, Heka on to Kauka di Rembaini. Kogo mutika ino mutika ide wanjiru ne to komo misi mono 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 na hemu dulio gyotari ha my brother in law weta go Mr Mungai ambassador Mungai da na hota go ka no ne atumira rambi rambi si ake na kureta meri ere meta togo mediru ne rati daga ke diri kani tu di to kono wanjiru na rati rama ita tama o tama ta tumana no to rukurare na COVID to rato rato postpone na gatini to go ka komo na. Na John Kagai, we John Kagai. 
John Kaga in Dako Hero Horosio and Komuga in Atidaki, Jira Toke, Toke, Toke. You know, I can not call Hanaka to Tare Troka, Kogu Haunikeha, Noni Girito Shokaria Gadon, you do a Miakeo, Atuhe, Nawa Jiru, Todu Nag, no legacy, Aker, and Guire, Utiri legacy, Ekirete, Tashianaishi, Wajiru Atiga. This legacy will live beyond her grave. And we are very, very grateful to God. So thank you everybody for coming to mourn with us. We bless you and you go well. Thank you so, so much and God bless. Thank you. Thank you very much. Last but not least, Watani Karibishe Fadawana Rua from Chaka. Fadawana Rua from Chaka, please come and say a word. God is good, I know the time, even this particular time that we are sad, you have to say God is good. For my friend and the family, it's another day we went to escort also another member of the family. And I thank God for this occasion. It is so sad, it's my first time to come here. But it's also good because I've come finally. I'm afraid to Mr. Rick and the family for quite some time since I came at Shaka Parish. And I'm the one, I they say, who buried his two sons. And now the mother. And I'm happy for those we have met. And if I don't forget, there were also many judges there. I was not scared, but I, I felt honored. Because I had not done anything wrong. And I was at the right place. But I also say this for ourselves. Those who mourn the mother, and who are worried, and who are scared by death, don't fear death anymore. Death is our friend, just as COVID-19. One time we shall be accustomed, and we shall not fear it anymore. Death is a way that we shall move from here to the other, other life. Some went with their bodies. We are not lucky to go that way. So we shall leave our bodies here, and then we shall go up there as we came to this life. I thank everybody who, who is here and who have come to mourn the mother because of something that we know about her or about, we have told about the greatest legacy is the children that she has left behind. Anyway, I thank you also for coming and I hope we shall meet again. I'm Father Wanarwa. I come from Chaka Parish where I work. This is the ninth year. Next year I will celebrate 10 years and I will invite you. I come from Mudaya. And if we meet again somewhere, just salute me. The Chejagia, Hana Mukimo. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Father. Now we carry our Ugo. So thank you very much. Uh, we've come to the end of the speeches, and now we'd like to uh, take an offering. And as we do that, uh, I'll request Meru Church. I believe you had a song. Uh, and the offering is to assist the family with any expenses that might arise after this or that have not yet been met. It's not the church that's taking the offering. It's strictly for the family. We don't take uh, the offerings uh, at uh, funerals. Uh, so as we do that, the ushers or the deacons can assist me with, uh, with that. I'll invite Meru Church, if you are close, to come and uh, sing your song. Meru Church.
after that we'll have a song that was also requested by the family a hero for Jesus as we prepare ourselves to go to a very important part of this occasion and that's the hearing of the word you can come behind these microphones please thank you very much gents and ladies there's another latrine behind the house and for the immediate family there's a there's a toilet inside uh, the house there's a car kbr 706h 
you left your lights on uh, or the hazards and uh, by the time this meeting is over you might not uh, have any charge left so please go and rectify that kbr 706h uh, let me welcome one more song from lydia kerigia uh, as we as we continue the, with the offerings so that we finish that and uh, welcome the minister God bless you all. Okay, mine is a song and not a song because I'm not a singer, but it's just a testimony for my friend, Mama Kagai. Well, I've known Mama Kagai for over 30 years. We used to live together up there with my family, the Browns, and that's where I met her in the 80s, early 88. And uh, as Kagai wrote his, his tribute, I would attest to the same, because when I met her, I was not a believer. And I met so many believers, Mashari Akafugi and Feles, who used to really <laughs> because I was a Catholic. They, when I would come from church, they would ask me, oh, Mothe Hoyata Maria Maita Maigana. So I used to get mad because I was a Catholic and I felt they were, interrupt, they were interfering with my faith. But by and by, Mama Kagai, we became friends. Um, we share the name. Na togo Kagai ya ugire njina Kagai gotiri odoge alede te dhino adhino. Only the word. Da umaka Catholic ya wakaka jira shiro. Monafi ya ugete one, two, three. Gamu ya monafi, I don't know about the prophet, but maybe by and by. Near the video, no, come in a queue got or do message of the Negro work and now we're all yeah, the mirror won't be a care or do gany today because as Catholics, we never thought there could be a prophet who is a white man. That was my problem, actually. And unfortunately, even our Pope was white, but I don't know why I was finding it hard. Ninaka in near the video with a queue go. Nariamo, you were talking about Modus, you thought the catechet. I go to the Amaguru actually. Na mokirara nyumbere yake hati kitu kiki kia diketu o. He na igo. She used to carry a message book like a, like a preacher. Na togu wa jimi ya ugire. We used to walk from pole ya luti jira yago vye kerema. Toni kuwa toi karana ake. Tuwa kana lumoro magoro. Tuwenda kwa vye kani that waka kama goro. But somehow God in a way nia hile brother brown gali. Nani tuwa chokile kukoloto ke kuwa believer Asi ya liyo the maumbete kuko tuwa dhia magoro tuka makuwa O hali ya modu wa Au magira ni hotu wa dhiaga Now to cut my long story short Nina kaka hii ali odomo wa mwanya Na kwe shiria 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 kene shiria nyo teoguo Na jimi niyo shiria he spoken about it For those who have known mama kaka hii Luweboro ya gwede ako ina nero lito tupo wa dikolo ina Tadua jiraga shiro Tutura yoni kwe omia Na the shia guy. Then ode kwa da modo, wago kuwa goro na ihe. Na that I will not even go to the song. To onemo ana lo igwa. To sura yone kwe o miyali ani na kaga ya dami re goko. Isuwa kire ko moshere na the funny thing. Ni na kaga idali ya koro. O na ge koro na the no liko. To atura atu go shaga. To atura atu go shaga. Na go tsi igwa ya aigwa ta ni ihe iro. It doesn't matter the situation. Lea tuwa kire goko, tuwa dhamira goko, tuwa kombine nyo baita linda adirisha. Na tuwa lea tuwa kitheka goweke ya. She was such an amazing soul. Mudu ya teteka inangolo ya keothe. Na watuwa kumwa igua, tuwa kire goko yo mia. Na kagole yako kwele yo mia. Gai ya leo kuwa. Na gai ya mweka wega. Jenu waka kai negwa da uka. Ato rebalo wa mama tuwa kwa inofa asie mwe. In the resurrection morning. That was her favorite song. Tororealo kenero iniruo. Datoraga adhena nero iniruo. We shall just sing one first. In her memory. Because I think we should have had a memorial. But all the same, this is good enough. Jen, even Shiro, you can come also. We shall just sing one first. Ado, isi ala moto wanyina kaka yale modu motana. Modu muedi ado na modu takuwa goro na ihenya. That was her theme in life. 
Jane is a bit worried. We shall just sing one verse. No, I come to Jika. Don't know, don't know. Tomorrow, we are going God bless you. Na ko, the damo na hari na tatura to dia magoro. Aya muka wega. In the resurrection morning, when the trump of God shall sound, we shall rise. Hallelujah. Sorry, we had uh, we forgot one very important person, the uh, Zakaria Mwangi, the brother of uh, the late husband of uh, Mama Jane, and uh, just come and say one word, and uh, as we proceed, and uh, I'd also like to appreciate Nas Consolata and uh, Sister Mary Wamakufuri for the very 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 tender care they gave uh, to mom during her very, very crucial moments. So thank you very much for your effort and may they be eternally rewarded. May they be eternally uh, rewarded. Na <laughs> Ocho tuvo mucho otro, 
tukolo tu na umele duochio na tukolo tu na umele duochio ya di kio ibu kule uliuge te ati aga koro kuna muere wa ve o koro kwe na zula ya ve no alma muere wa matuine na gua o koro kwe na zula ya matuine kuguo mudo muoyo na muere si ati kada la gogo de tuete kia ocho tu gua muisha na toko tu na umele duochio kuguo ni ndi na mai geto do ndi kire bohu jia na ndi na ndi na ndi na kige zama kuke jia no yuko ne zama kana nga zama ro na ole wa zama ra ngare nyita kuguo mui kare bo na layo na umele lu muke menya gati umuthi ni ucio turahurukia na rucio ni wena ni no riongi koguo muko mu mau mirudu ucio mukoro mu na thayo asanti sana asanti 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 guka hiyo ni samon mzima wa huji ana ni toigua kana to dinau ga amen thank you thank you very much Uh, now one of mom's daughters uh, alikuja na her moderator from uh, St Jude's Catholic Church in Donholm uh, Mary Mogambi so I'll give you 30 seconds please say something uh, and then I'd like uh, to to recognize uh, Nurse Consolata and uh, Sister Mary Wamakufuri please come after her so that we you know we recognize you for all your time and the effort you gave in taking care of mom Tumsifu Yesu Kristo God is good all the time Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe Kwa majina naitwa Anne Gasheri Mugambi Mimi ni moderator St Jude Catholic Church Don Ho Tumekuja hapa kwa niaba ya Catherine ni member wetu wa CWA tumekuja kumpea pole na sijakuja peke yangu niko na wenzangu simameni mjitambulishe you just wave the congregation Asanteni I wakati nasemanga ni wakati wa kila mtu si kweli kwa sababu kifo ni akila mu, mtu ikikuja tunaipokea tunalia then we dust our feet and we move on si ni kweli au kai hapo kulia sana tumeona mam ni mama alikuwa anajua Mungu na hii dunia hakuna kitu kingine si ni kweli jua nani Mungu safisha roho yako safisha roho yako ndio siku ile Mungu atakuita utaenda kama uko msafi tumsifu Yesu Kristu nataka kusema sisi wa mama wa Sinda Brie St Jude we are like 300 lakini hawa ni wachache wale walikuja kuwa na nyinyi siku ya leo na wale wengine wamebaki walikuwa wametutuma na salamu walikuwa wamekutuma Catherine wakatwambia waka tukwambie wanakupenda wanajua the pain you are going on with now at the moment lakini hawana kingine wanaweza kupea ni maombi tu na uendelee kuwa na nguvu tumsifu Yesu Kristu asanteni Uh, Nas Consolata and Sister Mary Makufuri please come uh, we recognize you please and after them I'd like to call Mama Mbua to come and give us the vote of thanks so that we 
moved to the church and the church can take it all the way so that we don't have to come back to speeches after that. Barienu. Mimi naitwa Consolata Tiraba. Awaki na nyuki kote ji hospital. Sipedai kusimama mbele yako lakini leo kwa heshima ya Jane I will tell you the family of Jen, they have really tried to keep the mother well. They could hear she is not eating. They said the money we buy the drug. They have tried everything, but Jen was really very sick. Nile uge wapia, hatuju kama atamaliza dawa. The bad thing, she was to finish the drugs yesterday. Jana. But they have really fought for the mother. They have really tried their best. We want to thank you for the support. They were really united. We were able to take care of the mother. So what happened? I was coming in the morning and in the evening. I could wake up at four. I come and give the drugs in the morning and in the evening. They were always there. So on Friday, I told Moikali, because I was on off duty, I would come and watch the mother. We make her go out and walk. She was very happy that day. And even she took some yogurt. I was like, hey, she's going to walk. So when I finished washing the mother, she looked at me. She was on the table room. Kumuosha, ananiagalia anasheka. Hey, ananiagalia anasheka. I was like, what is happening? So nikabia kagai, leo tutamutua inje, awote jua kidogo. So kukaka, after finishing the drug, it was a sign of, I think, going. She was very happy. She was not in pain. She was just joking. So I went outside. I told this lady, you know, you can't tell them she's dying. I was like, now what do I tell them? So I just covered her. I told them she's just sleeping. So I told I told Betty Akeala, let us not take her outside. She seems to be very tired. So I covered her and faced on the wall. So I was like, how do I start? And the way the sons had hope, I think Kagai was there on Friday. She saw the way we were struggling to feed the mother, but she could not swallow. The muscles were so weak. But they were really trying. They were there for their mother. I have never seen such a family. I don't, I have no words. I think they have really, really tried. Some people fight for the parents to die, but them, they wanted the mother, the mother to live for many years. They were there providing everything. What do you want? Mwekali, James, Kagai, they were there calling. What do you need? I, I have no words anyway. I really appreciate this family. And sorry for the loss, but she was very sick. But I could not tell them the outcome. We were just trying to, to push, but God did his way. But the mother was happy. She died happy. She was not in pain. So I later went to the shop. I called, I think, Jimmy. She had issues. Then we called James. So the problem was we never had the house, but we used our vehicle as the house. We carried the mother with our vehicle so that we could be able to move. But God has been faithful for this family. We thank you. I want to read for you a fast. I'm not a pastor. I want to encourage these people. Kagai can read for I sent for you in a WhatsApp. I want you to read for them. Psalms 35 or Moikali or James. I said Psalms 35. I have seen it. Psalms 
stand at 95. I want to tell the family they are well protected. Even if the mother goes, God is there for them. And you can see the crowd. I told you I don't talk in front of people. But today, you have, you have hedged me behind and before. And late, you are hard upon me. When God charged Satan, whether he had considered his servant, Job, Satan told God that Job did not fear him for nothing. He complained that God had put a hedge of protection, not only allowed him, but allowed his household and all the had. The, Psalms, the psalmist also makes similar sentiment that God had put a hedge behind him and in front of him. In other words, he is enjoying God's total protection. That's not all. The heart of the Lord is upon him, denoting Yahweh of sovereign control and guidance of his life. God will always go ahead to fight the battles which we fear losing. He calms the waves which can easily destabilize us, and it softens the blow which can easily take us down. We are protected from all sides. Thank you for the support. God will give you strength. We love you people. You are so good to us. Thank you for taking good care of man. Mother Niamura, the me, a married to a Makoja to go Mira Mushiwa Kangara, and I'm a Kufuri, the little Tahioniki Nimuria Vera. Na Hario Duma Gota Kuga Mutimio and Muronha, Nimura Tawakoa, and the Mariwai de Vitu Najira Nene. Na Mahida in Maria Aki Yago to Kanya Rora, Nede in Wakoya Kanita Igwe Udu. Natigue to that one more, don't know the diagram in Wakoya, but you can only more wider. We two. Now, Mahita Maria Dokida or Itana Kinago Kari. I had a sister in a Yukon market and our brother Rutere. Naka or a diagram in Wakanak and Iguagari Vitari Korea Cottage. Nasista Mahita in Maria Okide. I get to hold a demo. Sister in a Yuko. I get to a Rajina Kego Arauga or Sister Miri. Or sister Mary, okay. New Dosho Gaywa, Hiri Niger and Nanagisho Keria Gaigado, Todo Akaja Tana Korea, Nani de Noa Korea, one day by Joker de Mutu Gatire. No, my damn daddy, the top court, the Jire, the Ateka Yoko Igira. Daddy Reke Karaugate in there, no get a mother in Yoka Udo Kamwe. I call a mother in the way that Tedu Gatire Madawai de Vito, Oreke Hayoro, the Mahida Mato Kunanaka, the Mutu Gatire Mushi Mother Nyarogo Show. Na maida Maria Dasho Kira Mushia, do the Wadiko Igere, Gaywa, Rosia de Ake Horia Dimo, Akejera, Mam Yaka Hero, the Rosio, Todaria Hero, the Madi. Na the Josia Hero Madi, the Hayo Madi, I hear more than Yawaidi. Nania Kehomo than Yawai de Rosa, Nania Dako de Hari de Suda de Kaikomi, Naga Bata, Nago Kahuko, Pogo Tatigan Yenajin, Na Najimi. Na daika ikumi na idano. Daki nya pere na daika ikumi na kire shoka riki nya. Kuwa kwa oka akoli daika kabari ide, no kore ida niyatoa ida niri. Kijoli ya no oka inedoka, dera tuti tuka ida mamu. Wedwa koroa kore kati au riki nya nira. Tuwa tuti kore ya kotiji. Neta hero. Tui kara huda daika idano tuwa shoki ya kire roda ni gikira. Nimoe koko kuma ne go di mo go di mo go di mo go di mo kinya kinya odi doragiya de kinya kugori mahita maria da 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 mo kori e ne hari na mutimi ya mwa mari na ke haru sister a o keri de we mo na ke o keri ya akige ya kuma kuma ne ga da o ke adoge ke mo ra hola gije da kinya toke ni tano go toke he paneli na na da da. Tokerera nera tokerera nera ta daika ikomi Dogya hoti ya kuigwa wega oria aroiga Noni mwadhani ni aheire odo wa kuigwa oria aroi ara 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 jira Tokerera tokerekia Kejira ikarira haha ikarathi ni hari na mutimi yo bari hau na keke kemuga ithia thutha gukirira witu na dada Ah nekai demwere roho mwe ni ushayanagira o mudu ni ashagira oriyoki 
tondu mahinda marya twaikaria na mwana wa ithe witu twabiye okwaria okiugo 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 nidiraririkana akinjira uhoro wa washimen uhoro era eta kwate bunageri utuko kinyete ha eyo ni odomereri ya ahire ya mbere na ni ngemwira na ithu hauni hoturi akinja dadareke twetirire tugege ikarathi dagitari agiuka kimurikiria uri amurikagiria tukiaria 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 eh jiminao na kuria mena muikari ni ma ni ma ni ma he ni mathite kuriha nigetha tuheruta tuinuke twa inuko mire ko kindu tha 11 tigaritie tugiuko guku twako guku ri ni kuma muthenya ucio twako guku ngiacokire kuma guku ringi tondu ndamuhoya rutha ke nyinuke umuthi akajiracha tukatige muthenya ungi gwakia dadareke nyinuke tondu na ni ndina tumaudu twako akajiracha twaikarire nake kuma hideyo atigarika ni muthenya uri kutaumire cottage na kuma hindi yo ndi ndathi gwakwa tuikaita na dada ngamuteithia tukateithania nake utuko tha kenda tulaina ga nyimbo ta ithatu na tukashoka tukahoya kwogwa mwana wa ithe witu hari ari ndire na nganja ni athiete kundu kwega na mwathania murathime ndie na maundu maingi mako mwirano ati mutikage na nganja hari athiete athiete handu hagiriru Asante 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 sana mom. Thank you very much. Uh before just before we do the vote of thanks uh one late addition Justice Marita please come and just say hi. Uh and then we'll have the vote of thanks and uh, afternoon good afternoon bwana yesu asifiwe my name is marete dk jagi i was born on the other side of the mountain i've been here for so so long a time that uh, i also belong to this side of the mountain and uh, we come here today to celebrate the life of my good sister I am a Presbyterian like she was born. I associate the Presbyterian Church of East Africa and I'm very very proud to be a member. The Presbyterian Church of East Africa, I not disdaining any other churches or religions. I belong to all of them in equal share. But particularly the Presbyterian Church of East Africa, I know and I'm a witness brings out greatness in all of us you can see it all over here i feel very very proud to associate with the the rica family i was always aware of uh, the late uh, reverend kagai i thought he would be my the admit of uh, my brothers because uh, being a last born i have uh, brothers who are 80 plus but I'm realizing today, thank God I came here, that he could have been a, a little senior than my dad. My dad was born in 1895, and uh, even for that, I thank God. And now that uh, we are a Presbyterian and uh, have everything that is a Presbyterian and witness is the greatness, and thank God for that, we now come back, come back to today. Today we are not in mourning whatsoever. We are celebrating a life of greatness. A life which was originated in the Presbyterian Church. Again, I go back home. And uh, this lady who is uh, my sister, my senior sister, uh, by all means, has done 
great and wonderful things. When I came here, the first thing I appreciated was the beauty of the, the place, the environment at Etal. That is why I entered and went to sit down there because I didn't want to share it with you. I wanted to have my full. And for that, uh, we thank God. Uh, we mourn with you, the family. We mourn with the Rika family, particularly, and uh, the children of uh, my great sister. We mourn with the Kagai family, the other side of, uh, uh, of uh, Nyeri. We mourn with you, the friends of this family, the friends of the other family. And uh, in all this, we say, glory be to God. Thank you, and thank you again. Let's now have the vote of thanks, and then uh, we'll proceed. time I have stood here to give a vote of thanks on behalf of the family. The family, the committee, church committee, especially Pastor Mwenda, Dr. Muturi, nurse consolata, attendant, and uh, Rahab Wairimu, other caregivers, Betty, who stayed with mom at Cottage Hospital, Wamakuvuli, Ninawa Gema, Executive, Count Executive Mudoi Karioki for assisting for the roads, Yeshohi and the group for preparing the resting place, friends of different professionals and colleagues. We want to thank you all for coming, standing by us because of what is in front of us. Today is not a day of us to Christ or day to celebrate the life of our mother. So I have stood here on behalf of the family to say thank you. Thank you once again, and God bless you. And as you go back to your home, may God give you journey mercies. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for all the speakers. Please give them a good hand clap for all the tributes that they've given. And then now we want to enter into a very important moment. Uh, we want to sing a song number two. Pastor Kengori will help me. But before that, there's a song that uh, the family had requested. So I'll call Becky. Uh, we sing that song. And then Pastor Kengori, please help us lead that song and invite the minister.
Kristo Tuwathekira kitikia kuwana uri gifafa ito, ni thegio uh, ni uduwa kukule toha mwenaidwe, ni thegio faito matini wakakwa wa shiria mudhenya wamudhi, ni thegio ni uduwa ngedo hivye tuwa kama nyanyo kakitani laga hivyo ito, ni tuwa kwa shari tulakuna kulea baralia, unakule togelia, unakule kile laga hivyo ito. Fafa ito matini mtuwa kinya hede gea kuigwa kiugwa ya kumuadhani ito, na tulame nya kiugwa ya kuna ya kaiwi ito. Uka utale dina mga butu kihota kuigwa muadhani, uka gai ito matuine, utale na madiko, uka utuigwere da, ushamani na mafatro maito, ushamani na groshi ito muadhani, Tuwa higa mwako ini maku. Njita mwalia waki ugo fava. Ehere jira uki otutu gatile mwadha ni wito. Ni ukuro mwadha tuwa mwako ini maku. Tukisho kia gatha maudu ini mwadha fava wito. Tawadu ni dhini wali tuwadaku. Mwadha nita Jesu Kristo. Da hoya. Unadasho kia gatha. Tiga wale mwena wako. Kedo wede da.
utawauliza mketi Kumu hoya mwikarevi Eh jabla kwanza ni kujitabulisha Ah mimi jina langu naitwa Pastor Gwandaru Eh kuzaliwa nimezaliwa hapa Mount Kenya Alafu baadaye nikawa mkaji wa nakuru na siku hizi mimi nahubiri kule Nairobi <clears throat> Sasa mimi ndio nitahubiri katika mazichi haya. Alafu tutakuwa na mshugaji Obadia Kamwati. Tutasaidiana na yeye ataenda huko kwa shimo. Si zote tumetoka Nairobi. Lakini hiyo tutangulia kule Nairobi, Pastor Kamwati. Eh, kazi yake ndio nyingi sana Nairobi na tuko na furaha eh, kumetaja tajwa hapo kila mtu anataja kanisa yake eh, nimesikia watu kadhaa wakitaja kanisa lao na labda unafikiri hata mimi nitataja yangu lakini kwa ajili ya your curiosity e, sisi ni watu tunaamini kwamba kanisa ile iliyo ya kweli baada ya kuwa na makanisa mengi sana i don't know how many churches are registered with the registrar of societies na kanisa inakuwa registered kwa sababu iko na idea different na ile ingine lakini sisi tunaamini kwamba kanisa ya kweli ni ile Yesu alianza. Matthew chapter 16 verse 18 Jesus said I will build my church. Did he build it? One the first member Peter and his brother. Second member eh uh, ile family eh yeah, but i'm not no no ni sebed eh, your family from there levi sasa kanisa iko na watu gapi hapo five alafu kutoka hapo akaita wale iko 12 5 to 12 17 yeso anaendelea kujaga kanisa lake members ni 17 kutoka hapo akaita wengine 70 Jumlisha hiyo inakuja gapi? Haya, Yesu anaendelea kujenga kanisa lake. Siko ya Pentecost. Akaita wale wote waliomwamini. The real believers, kwa sababu wale wengine walikuja tu wakakula mikate, wakaponywa, mambo ya hiyo kanisa wakamalizia hapo. Hata kuna wengine walieda. Alipowaambia kwamba msipokula mkate mwili wangu mwili wangu na munywe damu yangu hamna uzima wakaona this is a vampire we, we, we cannot follow this religion so by the day of pentecost there were 120 20 true believers hawa wakaongezeka siku ya pentecost 3000 pita alipohubiri Alafu alipofanya mujiza wa kwanza ule wakiwete yule alikuwa katika Oh sorry I'm not conscious of this Eh wakaamini wengine 5000 Kutoka hapo wengi wakakuja Paul Timothy and so on Hiyo kanisa ikaendelea for about 300 years mpaka the first church came called the Roman Catholic Church 325 AD in the near city council kutoka hapo Anglican 1534 kutoka hapo Presbyterian by Knox 1560 before that we had the Anabaptists 1525 zikaendelea makanisa 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 
leo tuko na mingi ingine inavaa kileba ingine ya blue ingine ya red ingine msalaba mwekudu kwa kichwa na, na kwa mfuko so to our understanding that is nothing but confusion so we have a message that tells us go back to the original find out what Jesus church believed find out what the apostles taught through the instructions of Jesus that's what we have been doing for in this country I believe one of the pioneers Pastor Kamwati and many others since around 1975 70, 74 that is our our message that is our faith if something was not taught by the apostles to us is false if jesus never taught anything it's, it's not right the only safety for me that i'll go to heaven is when i can see what jesus said that's our faith Ah, uh, siku ya leo ni gumu sana mimi kuhubiri watu wale wako hapa ni wengi sana kwa ina nyingi. Eh, uh, I was telling Rani this is not the best uh, time for me to preach. But eh uh, uh, I don't I have you know eh uh, nimesikia kuna justices and so on and so on. Alafu kuna wahubiri and and uh, could be the something acceptable by all those people and you some are agrican some are presbyterians some are catholics be fair to me i cannot please all of you but the only thing i can do is if i say what the bible says is not me if i say what the bible says ukasirike si mimi nimekasirika ni bible imefanya nima gani so uh, as far as the eh uh, hali iko uh, for the for the years i preached i have preached i went to preach somewhere and uh, when i entered there i found laila and his daughter as seated just they were the first people in a row here so another meeting i went there Back there, I found Uhuru Kenyatta. So, today I'm feeling like I was feeling when I was preaching to those people that day. And I believe that the same grace that helped me to preach to them there uh, will help me to preach something that you look sensible to justices, the levelheads, the fathers, and all the others. Uh, I do hope that uh, in Ekikula we are not turning like a Western and Nyanza, where we have so many speakers. Uh, I went to preach Mazichi in, West, in Nyanza. I counted the speakers, there were 31. And we went up to just almost six. When I stood up to preach, after five minutes, they were just complaining nimewaweka yani the almost the whole day they have been speaking but preaching for about 5 15 minutes is very complaining i'm happy about this meeting i was given allocated the time leo ni gugate mweke ola mureka muini no mukuina no cia kwano dekata sasa mimi na sema fanya vile mtafanya na mfanya vile mtafanya tradition dikheto ni siakwa kwa sababu hiyo ndio amepewa kwa ugore kwa hivyo nitaiga mtu wa kodora haria nimeweka mtu wa kunitazama pale siati gande ka siganona akanyonia ikibaki dakika tradition hetu kwa godi kumuiga kwa hivyo sitawaweka ujo odha yajiketeta nitahubiri hicho masaa ile na staili ya hetu asante sana nitoa mama ndiko from the book of Matthew chapter 7 Kitabu cha Mathayo mlango wa 7 
Uh, I used to preach without look, have exam notes. Uh, lakini now I have turned 70. I'm over 70 now. And my memory is not very good. So let us read from the book of Matthew 16, verse 13. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will come to me in that day, Lord, sorry, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then we like profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that you be with us, be with each one of us. As I speak this word, Lord, it be beneficial to everyone that is here. Grant grace and mercy to speak in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We be seated. Now, I have chosen uh, a subject that I have personally put myself in trouble. Because I, when I was preparing my sermon, uh, I didn't have the idea of what kind of people I'm going to talk to, but uh, de, de ikete mwakine take, take huruta Na jitupa moto kwa kama kipepeo Liyada jita subject yake ya kuhujia uu uh, Wakati ninashika jita subject ya kuhubiri hivi The way to inherit eternal life Ni nani wakweda biguni, ni nani asie wakweda biguni. No wadhiye igoro, no utagadhi. Ni nani atayada biguni na ni nani aedi. It's a very, very hard subject. But I'll tackle it by the grace of God. Why? It's because everybody seems to be going to heaven. Everybody we bury, every person we fight buried, to Taonana Tena Biguni. To me, I feel that we should honestly tackle this issue because it doesn't seem to be that way. Some of the people we bury, and we tell God, Who you make Mahali Pema Peponi? To you and me, I know for sure this man was a robber. But here the preacher has designated him to a good place in heaven. Some of the people you find around talking about going to heaven, people will say they are going to heaven you look around and see, I. It doesn't go like that. What I want to say here is that surely there is a truth about who goes to heaven and who does not go. And I want to say, not all people go to heaven. And I'm not the one saying, because the Bible here has said what? Not everyone, not everyone, not only that one, not everyone that saith, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, Lord. Shall I enter into the kingdom of God? 
So there are so many people who are saying, Yesu ni buwana, Yesu wasigwewe, Yesu ni buwana, buwana, Yesu, tukumia Yesu, Musifu Yesu, asifu ya Yesu, there are so many that are saying that like that to God. And then the Bible says here, not all of them. Some of them will go to hell. I know in many churches the word hell has been has become a cake. It's never used. But if it is still in the Bible, it is, should be mentioned. And the Bible says here now, not everyone. Not everyone says, Lord, Lord, Lord. So there are so many people saying, Lord, Lord, Lord. But you will go to hell. We need to find out why. Somebody that is saying the Lord and is not bad. It is so good to call the, 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 the Lord, the Lord. And to say, the Lord, place the Lord. It's wonderful. It's good. But why would somebody like that one go to hell? We need to find out. Let us not ignore the issue. Then we must face it. Now, and the Bible continues to say here, down there, many will say to me in that, that day, Lord, Lord, okay, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Do you know it's very difficult to prophesy? But these are people that prophesied. And when you prophesy, you prophesy under the Holy Ghost. Because you are talking about tomorrow, you are going about what will happen. And the Bible here is saying specifically the prophesied. People who prophesied and even did what? Prophesied in thy name. And in thy name have cast out devils. Hey! If I ask you how many people have cast the devils here, there are very few. But these are people that had out the devils and casted them out. And they had the power and the authority to cast them out. They did all that. Prophesied. Casted out devils. What else did they do? And in thy name done many wonderful works. Hmm. Works. Good works. Good works. Feeding the poor. Helping the people. Good works. Taking food to the areas that are that are have farming. Great things that you are doing in the church, helping the people. Good works. And by doing those good works, the Lord says, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. What are we saying? Somebody has done so many things, so many things, so many things. We say, oh, Mungu Mweke Mahari Pepe. He has done very good works. But people have done good works. But I never knew you. People have prophesied. Jesus will say, I never knew you. People have casted out devils. But he will say, I never knew you. Let us just be sober and ask ourselves, why would somebody of that caliber or spirituality? Mtu wapaya amefika hiyo kiwango cha kiroho. And then finally, he goes to hell. Because if I never knew you, that means you are going to hell. There he says, depart from me. Depart from me is at work iniquity. What is iniquity? Iniquity is doing something you know is wrong. You know it's wrong, but you are still do it. That's iniquity. So, why would these people go to hell? Why would these people not be known in the kingdom of God? Having done all these kind of things, having done these great things, why would they not be known? Why would they not be known by God? Why would they not be accepted in heaven? Having done these great things. Having, having in their life considered God the Lord, the Lord, Lord, Lord. And done all those things. Then verse 
21 give us the reason. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of, of heaven, but, but, he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. He that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Then what do we see? These people prophesied, but somewhere they never did the will of my Father. These people preached. These people did had great crusades where they were casting out devils and doing everything else. But somewhere along the way, they never did the will of my Father. And for that matter, they missed to go to heaven because they never did the will of the Father. I want you to listen. It is doing the will of our Father. I'm trying to gain courage to say what I'm going to say. Wakorino, they don't do the will of the Catholic. The seventh day don't do the will of the of the Jechila Okofu. Jechila Okofu, they have their will. And the same day have their own will and they are different. In the same way, a denomination has the Hebu in a mapenziake. Naya Baba Ariabiguni in a mapenziake. Ukifanya mapenzi ya wakorinu, hufanya mapenzi ya jeshi la hokofu? Hujafanya? Umefanya mapenzi ya wakorinu? Ukaweka kireba? Ukifanya maboida igine, mapenzi ya wakorinu vile wakorinu onataka. Lakini wakati umefanya hiyo na umetimiza hiyo, hujafanya mapenzi ya seventh day. Is that correct? Okay. If you do mapenzi ya wakorinu, you have not done ma mapenzi ya baba alia biguni. Baba alia biguni ana mapenzi gine yake. And this is where we shall get lost if we don't watch. Right? We are doing the will of our denominations. And I want you to realize this. Denominations contradict each other. Is that correct? Right? They don't have the same thing. They contradict each other. Let me ask you. Are they all of God? How can God have two things that contradict themselves? How can God have two things that fight each other? And then they are all his. There is no way. In all denominations, I believe there are sprinkling of people of God. That's when I know that. But I don't believe denominations are of God. They belong to men. And some of them belong to the devil. Oh, they have God. They have God. How? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. How did the Roman Catholic start in 325 AD? Constantine, he got a group of Christians. And he got a group of some pagans. He brought them together so that he can have a, a, a kingdom that is peaceful. And he succeeded in doing that. Okay. Tell me where God was. That is Constantine. In 1534, King Henry VIII, he wanted to marry. Divorce his wife and marry another. Then the Roman Catholic said, no, you cannot do that one. According to our teaching, you cannot do that. He said, no, I will do it. And he did it. When he did it, what happened? Then, a section of the Roman Catholic Church that was in England broke away from there. And then the king chose his own bishop and put him in Canterbury. Let me ask you people, let us be honest. Where does God come in that? Where? Where does God come in that? And I've said, to be fair, there are people of God there. Is that right? But the system is not his. The system divides the people. The system confuses the people. Right? The system has teachings that are not from the Bible. 
So, what am I saying? I'm saying, obeying the law of your church is not obeying the will of my father. The will of God is the Bible. What is written in the Bible is the will of God. If you want to know the mind of God over any issue, get what the Bible says. I said I'm going to be very plain and bold. Now, for example, if you want to be baptized, where do if you want to if you want the will of the of our Father about being baptism, the will of my Father. How does our Father want you to be baptized? Go to the Bible. You go to what? The Bible. And when you go to the Bible, you will find this: there is no sprinkling. In the Bible. Everybody that was ever baptized in the Bible. Was baptized by immersion. I'm talking about the will of God. Sprinkling. Is not in the Bible. Sprinkling was started. By Bishop Ezebius. In 337 AD. When he was baptizing Constantine. In his deathbed. From there, it became a tradition of churches to sprinkle. And that is the will of the church to sprinkle. And nobody is quarreling them. Your will is okay. Do your will. Even the way you wear, wear, the way you want to, to wear, you are free. Even the way you want to do and join in whatever church you want, you are free. But as if you want to go to heaven, you must do the will of our Father. Amen. It must be the will of our Father. If it is not the will of the Father, you are in trouble. Right. I want to shout, if you don't do the will of all our Father, you have the danger of going to hell. Amen. It must be the Bible. That's right. It must be what the Bible says. Many will come to me that day, Lord, 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 but they are not doing his will. You may say, oh, just baptism. That's a very small thing. Baptism only. That's why we are getting in trouble. Let me ask you, what did Eve do? How many words did Eve break? Eh? Only one. Only stretching forth her hand and plucking the what? The fruit. The word of God said, thou shalt not eat that fruit. Is that correct? And then Eve did what? Eat the fruit. Just that. Just that. And you go and make a yo in the yo te. But the fruit. The fruit. She never. She took the fruit. Then God came. No, now, to, no to do it. What have you done? Where get that? And then what did God do? He had only two people. Live now that he has got billions of people. He chased them out. Are you not doing it? Tika he deo. Tika muda nyawa muda kurena do iki mono makiria. But he lost them. No, Adoshu Makiura. Chase them out of the Garden of Eden. Naki Mehria Mukoda Ida. And put the angels there to stop them ever going back to them. Naki Garaika Mamaragan Matigasu Kuregi. Let me ask you people. If God is fair, I God of justice. Nagaiwa, how can he chase those two people on the basis of breaking one word? Now do Aku and Aku Kugoro. And when you break five and you go back in the Now we are talking of Uja Matano, Ushoki of the Ku. How? How? How can I break? The same word of God. God says this. God says, by mansion, you go sprinkling. How? These people are breaking it was God. How? You have allowed, you, you, Adam and Eve have, have a right to ask God. You chased us because you broke one one. Adam na amana ke otoki ya kolia gai dio to afujiri okiwara okemwe uyo naka ava afujete akuye bukuye ne othe na no mwe ngira ko no mwe ngira ko thei ne lazima amaeta ukunda god will not do that god is a god of justice and i'm telling you people wrecking one word ko kufuja kiwo kemwe you know the truth but you refuse ni oema no karega meo forget about heaven liganiro ne matuine Everybody, 
pepon. Mweke pemba, mahali pemba popoli. I ask you now, since this person died, he's two weeks. Gaya tula hakula matu ina amonyi tete wali kitu nikula eko muiga. Eta ina advice kuma kule bishop, kuma kumara itu. Yani unafikiri muku anakosa mali ya kumweka, harafu useme ya weko ya peponi. Eh? What does the Bible say? He delivered him work with it. Mali kuma wika watu ene. Agedhiye akiogani yu hama nadu hao. Wakati Ibrahimu alikuwa, akasemekana aitoreo pamoja na watu hao. Aliweko pamoja na watu hao. Akeigu hama nadu hao. Gaya kula kwa oe hala utu hala. Gaya ni anakuwa mungu anakuwa na juwa mali. Oko ye mudu wa kunywa kunywa kunywa. Iko ye mudu wa kunywa kunywa pombe. Oko ye mudu wa kunywa 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 Mugu siwa kwa Okuma haa kainyo ya hala kutuwa Ya na juwa mahali ya takuperaka God knows where to take you Kainyo ya hala ya kutuwa na So God does not know These denominations Kaido ya dinisi God knows individuals Kaido ya omodo kiobe God never deals with the denominations. Na gaida utakawela na adini amudu. God deals with individuals. Gaida utakawela na adokiobe. Mudo kiobe. Gaida chiwi. Mugu hasi chiwi. Gaida oyewe. Wenewe owe. Mugu anajua wewe. Wewe tiyo anajua. So. Kwa kwa. Following the law of your denominations, which most of them sometimes are contrary to his Bible, is not the will of our Father. Mark chapter 7, verse Mark-chapter-seven-mark-chapter-seven-mark-chapter-seven-mark-chapter-seven-mark-chapter-seven-mark-chapter-seven-mark-chapter-seven-mark-chapter-seven-mark-chapter-seven-mark-chapter-seven
You don't stop anywhere here. Atire hado kwa magata kate ine. Nowhere. Atire hado. I tell you. Dreda komuera. This time that you are alive. Mahida maya ore muoyo. Is when you can change your destiny. He aha uno oge chejia na korea wagiri de gozie. Right now when you are alive. O mahida maya ore muoyo. If you die. Wari kia kukua. There is nothing that any any preacher can do. Gotire modo kana muhuja oge kodo hau. There is nothing that the church can do to change. Nothing. And there is no chance. I must make that one very clear. Now, I'm avoiding reading the Bible because of time. But when Lazarus died, what does the Bible say? He went straight. The angels came, took him straight. To the bosom of Abraham. Right? Right? No, yeah. Then the Bible says the rich man also died. And then there was the funeral. But he went straight. No, to hell. There is nowhere they stopped. There is nothing like Pagatore in the Bible. Pagatole was started in 1439 AD. Mwaka wa 1439 AD. That's when it was formulated. Okay. It began there. Okay. By men. Yeah. It, I, it is so significant for you to know that no. that uh, I risk hurting some people here, but tell you the truth because I don't want you to have a false hope. Not after you live here, there's a chance. Not not only after that, but many of you are going to die. That you must go to work. And I'm obligated to tell you, nowhere. This is the time you have a chance to change your destiny. Not only you are going to go to work, but you are going to go to work. You are going to go to work. It's now. It's done already. Now listen. What are, what were they holding? Traditions. Mm. I want to first there. Uh, okay. The, for the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they wash their hand, oft eat not, holding the tradition of elders. Tradition. Get to go. Mm, Something starts and it becomes a tradition. Listen, and people follow it. No, they tradition. Not to No, 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 where did you ever find that in the Bible? Whom did you ever see in the Bible? Which apostle? Which apostle? That was baptizing babies. That problem brought a very big, big thing, big problem in history. In the 15th century, it brought a big problem, and they, they allows the Anabaptists. Okay. Okay. The Anabaptist. Okay. They became Anabaptist. Anna means, means again. So there are people baptizing again. And there was a move of the Anabaptist. Who are the fathers of Utahites? Uh, Anonites and the, the Welsh. Okay. Yeah, all these kind of people. No, City Welsh or something like that. Mm. All these groups. This is your Baptizing children. It's a tradition. Hmm. And people follow it. They are following God. Not na, God. Na ata no. Afana. That is something formulated by men. It's not the will of our father. 
Tida you to rat or la or la or la the kira we call wo baba the kira was a canina mutugo a caniza una to me or the cat on ya zuri a canita na togo I want to see the verdict of such people or the consequence of that. I am the Maria Farisai. Magatika to Kia Gai. How are you? What to my Farisai? One watch and another one. Another one. One at Tanganesa, your money made dogma. You do see a do. Then what happened? Okay, honey, cut it. When they come to the market, except they watch and eat not. They eat not, and the other things they are they are hold as the washing of cups and pots, brazen vessels, and of tables. Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders? But eat the bread with unwatched hands. Oh, people, listen to what Jesus said. He answered and said unto them, Well, has Isaiah prophesied unto you, hypocrites? As it is written, these people honor me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. How bad? In vain they worship me. Teaching, listen. In vain they worship me. Why? Because they are teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Okay. Okay. Traditions. I'm not vague. I'm showing you some of the examples. I'm giving you a good example. I can tell you many other things. But I want to take a short time. But I'm giving an example. Something formulated by men. It is entrenches in the church. And your people, and your people think it's of God. God. Maka watu wanajitorea kama kasi ya mungu. Hii unikio atu maki nyakwe ga yu gwari. Mujui watu hawa kifika kwa mungu hivi. Imoe. Mimi suwajui. Toto mutula wa mutuga tagila lili. Kwa zao muna kwa mkitumikia. Kaniza chianyu. Dinizenu. Mawazo maka niza maanyu. Sharia ya dinizenu. Na chitisho nchia kaniza ya anyu. Yani. Kiko kia gai li. Ya kwari. Yani kakadu sa kaniza. Neno rangu mukaweka chini. Mukata hapo chini. How bad even to those okay falling aside the commandment of God. He hold the tradition of men. As the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things. Full well he reject the commandment of God. Full well he reject the commandment of men of God. That he may keep your own traditions. How many churches are guilty of that? Mudo agatola alumagera tradition si akaniza. Mudo anaishi akifuata tradition. Akoneka na mudo agai muno muno muno. Ani anaoneka na kama mudo wa mungu sana sana. Akua uti mudo gete kila gidi kuwa gai. Akiva akuna mudo wa amini ati haya di kuwa mungu. Notola alumagera dui. Amekuwa akifuata nini? Tradition. Yani ma ma stikad sa sa dini. Ma tradition ma akaniza. Maitikadi 
Mwutani mm. maka nitha yaku No kigoge ya kwa ikiga kando Mwutisho ya kanitha rako Lakini neno rangu kaweka kando kaka kaka. I don't know you Sikoe Uge Nyeta ya waka nitha na ila tumio ila nane muno makiria Mimi niri waka nitha ila kubwa sana ya mitume Eke ya kwele please Go kutoka ni horo wake Wacha kwa vye please Eh? Hapa usioke juu ya kanisa. Tujui onemwe. Atujui hata moja. <laughs> Toe mudu, mudu. Na Unajua mikelea mutu, ke. mutu na. Dime la listen. Eh, Kemu demo example. Lakini, <laughs> the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 11, verse 12. Unakoele kuma, kumina gire hawu guwa. Yuge tatere. Inasema hivi. Na vigire ike higuruo. Vitabu viri, vika funguriwa. Ivukule mwe ni ivukule ya muoyo. Kitabu moja ni kitabu cha usima. Ile adamari kitu maito mao. Ile walikuwa meandikuwa majina yao. Ya keri. Ya piri. Ya ni kitu mekturile ya adu. Ilikuwa naandikuwa maisha ya watu. Ni utono wika ilha uri. Kwa 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 Kadikuwa. Jaburo rota unatenda, inaandikuwa. Wali kachuba igere, ikadikuwa hau. Kikunyua chupa mbili, inaandikuwa. Kadikuwa hau. Inaandikuwa hapo. Wali ya beja jathiri kari, umoye ni haia. Kiba beja jathiri kari, inaandikuwa hapo. Ekele mwere. Wacha ni wampie. Ala maire beja si ya guru denba. Wale wali iba beja ya guru denba. Na hile kisheta hoji yake. Na hile ikine na hitu wa nini? He? Agro reading. Ilikuwa na hitu agro reading. Ok. Na hicho siyothe. Na hiyo yote. Kwa kini uwa dhonu, kwa kini dhonu, nige za jie jera. Ika tafutua ni nani, ni nani ya taenda jera. Kwa kutu wathira jera, nando wasio. Kuna mwaja alieta jera kwa zao ya mwaja. Jamaa acho mekiri ogoni. Na wale waliofanya hivyo. Mwaza kaike kwa rika kinyaha. Walikuwa na cheka meno inavika hapa. Na wadi kweta kumahe warningi. Lakini nata kuwabia nini warningi. Mwazeke. Usicheke. Uhaloti mothiru. Ah, mapo ajaisha. Ni mwadike hau. Imeadiku hapo. Na ni wachemani na guo Na utakutana na Ni wakakula beja ichi watu walire Ya ya utasema mahali ulipereka iwa pesa yetu He He Ya kia mwome nyo guo He ibu kule ho Wake mujua hivyo Iko kitabu Wee mutumia Wee ukule mwana wake Ukule mwana wake Ukule mwana wake Ukipita kwa buwana wako Si mwana mwana wako Ukule mwana wako Ukule mwana wake Hai Hai ibu kwa wako Unaweka mtoto hije Urona tali ya hivu hata kia jaji uguwa. Iku hiki kawo. Urona ta unaona kama ni ya hivu. Mkusema hivu. Mwanoshio asi yaru. Iyo mutoto wa kisariwa. Mwana 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 Aijaisha Mwenye chua kile kia mwanoshio Siku hino lipata hiyo mutoto Mwanaika kiandika Mwanaika kiandika Mwenye ni agia kehe na mwana mwana Lewa mepata jirani Lewa mepata kijana kwa jirani Na mwenye wachi na nikuwa mwanaika 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 Siku ya ukuri Small and great Anene na nyinyi Mwakari ukwa Wakuko wadogo watafufuka Nanti tu kau rumah beri beri agan. Nanti tu tu semua mampir beri amungu. Ni mana rumah itu mula mana aku kubeli mudah. Ni mana pemas itu sana ya kumbeli. Ni aku ni kudu kugu kau cemal ya. Ku apa ni mahari pagi nanti tu takutan. No men jalan wekana nak buku kau. Na ujua bila muda fanya kau naik kitabu. Na keho. Na iko. Keho. Iko. Every detail. Kau dekat rumah udah mahu. Ibu aku nak kau nak kau teri. Apa dia ni kuat tak? Kau ini dekat kau 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 kaniza. Muku hajaweka kitabu ya kanisa He does not monitor churches He monitors individuals Gaida dalo kwa magerira adini Alo magerira modu Tufu kule tuwa adu Hii vitabu ni ya watu Situwa makanisa Sio ya makanisa Atuwa njendo wanuwa higa wa faido Sia makanisa Atuwa njendo wanuwa higa wa faido Sia makanisa Sio mungu Sio mungu Gaya higa wa adu Muku wanaweka watu Nakabuku kaku Na kila mutu na kitabu yake Utajilo weka nakabuka udaku ya Siju utafanya nini na hiyo kitabu ni mekuapia Ume nyo lawe kanako Ume nyo lawe kanako Ume jua hiyo kitabu hiko Ujua vila mutafanya na nae Mwede na enania Adika hau Ha leo umetanganya Adika hapo 
But the point is this. No, the books that God is keeping is for individuals. But you have a book to confront in your life. Now, listen. Mother, ma adu. Ni mola higia. Yani unatumisa no sheria za watu. Yani ukaiga kado. Yani ya Mungu unaweka kando. Maandiko unaweka kado. Bible unaweka kado. How much time do I have? Nataka higole hadu hage. Nataka nataka fungua mahali. Promise you I want to give my word. Ya kai kumi. Haya. Mbakisha ndai kakumi. I'm talking it now in the next 10 minutes. Now, let me first emphasize this point. After you die, after you die, this is not scientific. This is spiritual. After you die, you'll be living again. Wherever you'll be, but you'll be alive. Very quickly read for me there in the book of Luke chapter. Sorry. Uh, uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 19. The word, the word, the word. The will of my father. What is the will of my father? The word. The word in the Bible is the will of my father. Right? How does the father want me to do? Read the Bible. Read the word. Obey the word. When you are obeying the word, what are you doing? You are obeying the father. The father. Who will go to heaven? He that does the will of my father. Some people. Sixteen. The will of the father is to do the Nakatani, Mudeba Mogamuno, Naka to the Ariaga Idio Jagamu de Midebayode, Narede, Mudo Haga, Oyaga, the Dueta Colasaro, Niaiga Woke, he goine, Kiamusi Wake, Naari Nairo Danigi, Nania Yagia Korea, Rite Kirurea, Rui Magame, the Niagi Toka Kim, Okay, now we can attend at Muhoi, the Diniaquide, Aquide, Yaquide, Elia Likuva, Haya. Aya akwa ake um akikuwa ni araika akikata akikuwa ni araika yani akafanya nini akabebwa na araika akikuwa ni araika akikuwa ni araika akikeigwa githorine ke Ibrahimu very good ha katakati ne kutiru kutiru adu arugamire hapo katikati hakuna mahali alisimama adu arugamire ha katakati ne kuna mahali alisimama hapo katikati akikuwa ni araika next station akabebwa na maraika mpaka station ya githorine ke Ibrahimu kwa kifua ya Ibrahimu Okay, straight. Did you get the idea, Abraham? Okay. Now, can you talk about it? Kwa 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 what is the basis of respecting an individual? What is the basis? Is it, is it his station in this world? Is it his position in this world? What's the problem? What's wrong with the church? Respect it. you not going to Ginyamuzi njawa mozo makandeni maitu 
Dogo na mutumi ya no mogo zuru wa dikon. Tuan magzuru wa kubo. Maka leo mokuwa makanisa. Mutumi ya we miatoka maguru. Wezi yona na chakuli wako na, 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 na mepasuka migu. Unaikoe wa kiroho atea. Hata akiwa ni wa kiroho na muna gani. Doge, doge kona. Wezi ukaona. <laughs> It's something wrong. Una kedo maiti yao. What's the business? How do we judge one another by? Tutuwa, 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 Oko the wazo mamono tuwa utea. Oko the waga hito tuwa utea. Oko the. No kwa kia kaza. Hapa duniani tunakuwe shimu. Eh? Hapa duniani tunakuwe shimu. Lakini huko. <laughs> Church of God. Thini wakanta ya gai. Kwa katika kanisa rabwana. <laughs> Ati waneka mtumia unika hawa kamono. Ati ya. Iyo iyo kamama kanaomba sana. <laughs> Namugu wanasikia. Na wati uh, ilatu. Na wegine wako ha. Na kati ya tu, na hana viatu, ah ah, not here, si hapa, si leo, tu kwa magate. Na kwa kito kwa 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 Mudu kutoka na ndari Na kwanza mudu wato kutoka kwa Emu timia na hilo vi Na niyari akiri mbaza Unaona huyu tajiri Niyari akiri mbaza Niyari akiri mbaza Niyari akiri mbaza Niyari akiri mbaza Akawa wena mtu mjokio Wakati ya naenda kuagalia mali yake huko Ikuna ikiri ya huko Na reba ni yoyo ugwa Na reba ni ya najua hivyo Noe dengu waki nagu wakua Lakini wakati kivika Abaku ya kujeka Ya kujeka Ya kujeka Ya kujeka Ya kujeka Ya kujeka Ya Hedi ole verendi na muhujia tani maitho, ma, maitho makora Wakati yore verendi kama mimi muhupiri kama mimi Wakati yore macho inapotea Dona, dona aliki Haoni tena <laughs> Onage na mutimi yoke na kudake muria Hata akiona mwana mke mwingine huko haulizi Ona mutimi ya wake oka na guwa ekinyete haa Hata akiona bibi yake anakuja na guwa inajuka juu ya magoti Hata weka hulomu kato dake Rabu ini nyuna... ibuwe mkato wapa nyuma Awezi, awezi tazama Gitoka kele thiku Wakati tajiri ya nazikuwa. Nichoko kikata. Yedikuwa. Yeah. Na kiogeko ukua goma. Eni. Tazama na humbele. Ebu soma hapo mbele. Ok. 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 Nichoko kikata. Nichoko kikata. Nichoko kikata. Na kiogeko ukua kikata. Na uh -huh. tajiri ya kakufa. Aka zikuwa. Uh -huh. Na kiogeko ukua goma. Ni ulipoti ya gini kikua goma. Kumahau. Akiwa hapo. Ako, Atina hadu. Ako, Atina hadu wake. Akuna maalika gina. Kutoka ni hapo. Ni kwa kusimu. Sikiri jai. Sikiriza. Ikono ni kwa ziyo. Uh, biguni kutunaenda Onda kinya kwa goma ni kulazi yo Hata kuzimu kunaendwa Nakitaenda kumira ala ala yike tuzikaka Makolo magithi kwa goma wegi, Majority wegi, wegi tunazika wanaenda kuzimu Haya ni makinya kuhu Haa sasa wamevika huko Mitu ni makinya kuhu Mutu ni makinya kuhu Unajua ukia umu, mtu wamevika huko Mwani matu ni 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 mtu wamevika huko Nige kuwaga ruwa rune nere Nige tira maido Nige kiona Ifrahimu alikuraya Ona lasaro alike dhuri nige yake Ake anere na Kwe kwe Sikiriza Nena kupuri kufa tere Wona wako wali Nena kuakikisha hafi We hato le igua Kuna mahali unajisikikia Unajisikia Ona kinyaneo la alia Hata unaogea Ona ole hoketa kore la Ona ole hoketa kore la Hata ukuwa hapo kuta kulia utalia Nona wako hile Lakini ulikufa No, we had to let Katia. Lakini kuna mahali huko. Urazeka. Onono tukia. Mahali tere. unacheka. Mwodo watu wazikira le. Nikoza karazeka kuhu. Ile mtu tulizika ni kucheka anacheka. You be conscious. Amen. Uka kwa oke igua. Whether in hell or heaven. You will be there. Kwa kwa makana. You be conscious. Mm. Uka kwa oke igua. Tuge, tuge yu haluwa. Wala zao ona kenota guo. Ugo. Ugo kwa kia liyo lake. Tazaro. Hata tutazama. Hata eh? tazaro. Hata ya ni hivyo. Na no. akikia aki nilina akiwa atile Ibrahimu awa Ya yeah, iwa Na ya yeah. katoa sauti ya kasema Ibrahimu baba yangu Ni alaria Ni alaria Ni alaria Unaona hata ya naongea Mutu mesia ati mutu wa ziyo hatu Olahe ondra mina niwe u Usifikiri ati mutu wanaenda mahali ya jijui Mutu ni ya mena yaka mela te Leu nye 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 kingori Sasa na jijua mimi tiyo kingori Nibuwa unemu wakile hulio hili Sasa hii ni moto Sasa hii ni natazama Niwe ni hori Kuhi olahe Uh, sasa unajua ni kuungua unaungua na nurame, na nurame na tere na unajua hivi na kayo haro wako wadho kile oh hindi hada agile kuzikiria kamuhuja kala kwa kete na kuhuli mana na yaku hili ya ribikia wakati <laughs> siku zikiriza hili ya kamuhubiri kalikuwa na hubiri na hitu wa ito wa kukua tere aduitema brother hako wa dego kakuko na kamua brother hako wa dego kakuko hata kuja hapa akukua tere 
Tutume mudu, tutume mudu kuja area tu. Tikwaka huko. Situtume mudu asikuje hapa. Tutume mudu kwa mama nyatele kwa goma wekuo ni kuodi. Eh tuambie ndugu yetu huko kwa kwa kusimu iko. Huko matiko iwashe meko ule. Ikiwa hatasikiliza hawa wako huko. Uti mudu kuma kwenye ardhi kama huko. Hakuna mtu atatoka kivoni aende akawaambie. Ile hizo raigwa. Hizo ni hizo kuigwa. Ni sisi unasikiliza sasa. Hizo ni hizo kuigwa na ingu ichi. Sisi ndio utasikia. Na manguruma maito ni hizo kuigwa. Na hii mapengo yetu ndio sisi utasikia. Right. Ikiza bakari utao kuigwa. Ni watu kama hawa utasikia. Hiyo ndio jia uko nayo. Hiyo ndio hiyo ni ojerere. So there it is. You be conscious, you be somewhere. Ni ukaigwa, ni ukakoro hadu, uraimenya. So now, leo, ndeka sigana. Idhano, okay. Now, gweta kuzoma, nataka kuzoma, nati kuna kulekia. Maatiko ya kumaliza. Niki ya muhe maudu maigimuno. Niki ya wapa mambo mengi sana. Maida maadila hirote, kayotila hirote, kumuna nishigana. Lakini, Wakati nilipoa ile mazaa nilipewa kingoli alolile ai ocho dimo ya kiujede kataisho ai huyu sijui kama atakuwa kama ataika kama hizo kingoli ya jirani damu la leke kwere kingoli wakati aliniambia nikamwambia acha nikuambie ni uja ya maximum prison ya ya kamiti sasa nimeweka maximum ya women 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 prison oh nilihubiri maximum huko kamiti na ni hejera wa hao na kashigana na nikumbua umepewa dakika 10 na kaka ucheze kaicho 10 na makahonoka. Na mimi nahubiri hiyo dakika kumi na watu wanaokoka. Tadu igana. Kama watu 100. So, doesn't matter what time you give me. Yeah. So uh, na nota dakika zako ndio ategea na mtu machini. Yeah yeah yeah. Mimi napoteza dakika zangu nikifeana hii maneno. Tukiasoma hadi wakati na madha mara. Ah, tukiasoma mahali pengine isipokuwa ni masai na nikatete. Zaidi wapo kwenye samu ni wapere. Mimi mimi kwa mimi kwenye idhano. Samuel wa kwanza 25 yani mwaka wa 25 na ake Samuel alikuwa na Samuel yakaa na Israeli wa kwaoraama na kidhi kwa ku kwaoraama na akasikwa huko kwaoraama Samuel ni akuwa Samuel amekufa So Samuel tamta 28 So alidhie na jiramu za bamuna uh, Saul wakaenda kwa ajili ya fulani kulia Samuel yadhie akuwa ri Mahali Samuel alikufa mahali alienda wakati alikufa akamtoa huko hiyo itawa paradiso hiyo ndio inaitwa paradiso na ni adhiri ile paradiso liko roho kuo na hiyo paradiso iliisha haikuwa ni tumire adhiri ndo haliri matwa lako adwazi kumatwa lako hadu hau hetawa paradiso watakatifu walikuwa mahali hapo inaitwa paradiso kailaka Yesu Kristo akumudharani alinebe ya fio na Yesu aja kusurubishwa msarabani nikata na mahata uthi uthi ni wa Ngai tondu kithi uthi ni wa Ngai na mehija ili watu waese kwenda uwepo wa Bwana kwa sababu hawezi kuweta na dhambi. Waibania ikomi ugi tate adu atene maika make make zaija kwa drome make zaija kwa mwejo to nimeya matiathira ka. Abati ya 10 na. Ndio Yesu akire. Watu aliada wakitia. Ale wabudhia mtu ole mare akuigana. Ah. Amen. Samuel ile. Samuel. Ayokerio. Akaamushwa. Akimwona ile watu wa ujukirie. Akauliza ni kwa nini unaniamsha? Kwa ni kwale gazeti ile. Gazeti cha leke ni radhi kilo. Kama kwa ni maka na ule picha. Ikiadikwa na ipigwe picha. Alafu tena le. Mudhamaki ndio hala hadhi hadhi na na na, na press. Uh, Alafu oneke tele mudhenya wa ila le Samuel ma na na na, na saa roma kiaria. Sasa wakekuwa na eta na watu wa kiteti. Waseme Samuel tulikuwa naogea na yeye hey, jana yule tulisi. Nikwani ni maujukirie. Ni kwa nini umeniamsha? Ili wewe tuweke tegai. Sasa umekosea Mungu. Na kimla ke gwire. Akamwambia acha nikwambie. Ushuwe. Kesho wewe na morogwa na kijana yako muka gura kure hadi mtanikuta huko na kichoka okore ari na karudi mahali alikuwa the following day re ya siku nyingine sauru na tudhanani makiwa gero baraini ah sauru na hao watoto wako ni sauru hiyo sauru na jonathan sauru hiyo sauru ah sauru na jonathan wakakufia huko kwa hiyo vita porosio no ama fio ama fio haya leke leke jali na yenye ha wacha niogee kwa haraka hapa da kula no mwaka mo mwaka no mwaka no mwaka wate kire kiugo ula kiro iga oko ni kuti matie nakwambia nakwambia ni lazima utumikie neno vile inasema haya sawa adam na hawa makivuja kiugo adam na hawa wakavuja neno makigatwa wakafukuzwa 
Nego? Ni kweli? Haya, Musa lukataga ine na mwono ukele hivi wote. Musa mtumishi wa mungu kuliko zizi wote. Akinote Musa, viwe kia tene ne Jehova. Viwe kia tene, viwe walie na ihiga. Enda unene mawe. Ani mamuamba. Nenga ikiwa kia gai. Tiye, wali ye. Iyo ni neno la mungu, enda unene. Aki nyahore. Aki kufika hafo. Aki higa higa. Aka chukua rungu, aka ipiga. Gayo higile, wali ye. Mungu wa nisema unene na we ukapiga. Akiru wande we. Akambua we. Proliosho. Ule uli kwa muhano wa kuthi matu ine. Iyo niki ni kama mfano wa kweta binguni hau tafika. Na takini le. Na haku fika. Chuko kimwe. Neno moja. Gaya kiwa tere. Kisa hatu kuli hake ikanilore. Le kuwa kwa ni ala wii. Na mayake ni haki ate. Akano. Akano. Eh, itabebwa na mabega ya warawi Magekatia Wakafanya ni Gari ya ngobe na bau jeru Wakatekene za gari ya ngobe Gari umpia Gari yogete gari ya ngobe Mungu wa kusema gari ya ngobe Gari yogete shia deshia ala wii Halisema mabega ya warawi Gari ya kiliatia Mungu wa rivanya nini Mare hauma kina kola Sama kukua Halikuwa hapo wakicheza kola Gari ya yokela kari guru Mungu wa kamuka Kwa kari Kola zima tukwa otoke ina huko ina huko Gari ya gari ya kala kala maikina Tukwa hiyokoro huo Tukwa hiyokoro huo Tukwa hiyokoro huo Tukwa hiyokoro huo Wakati mungu wa takafirika Ata koka mtu Ati ni worship Prince ali worship Na kinya ato wa maluwa Prince ali uzeri Prince ali worship Wakati wa naiba hiyo Gari ya gari ya kala uji Aro ni liogua Niki wa kala huju Wakati mungu wa li Ali kile mtu atawa uza Ali konga mtu anaitu wa uza Haka aguka hafu Kiko kemwe Neno moja Kiko kemwe Mungu anakueka hivi Na hiki ni anawe kueka hivi Anawe unaweka hivi Hadwa hivi kakigori Uko wa tradition Bata ya kuchukua neno Unachukua maamabo ya Itikadi Ya itikadi za kanisa Ni ula rumirina Ndiyo unafuata Chuko kado Neno kado Mauduma, mauduma, mauduma ya thote kaido Madi ni maadhuri, kirege adhuri Mambo wapa imetanezo na wazee Itikadi ya kanisa Traditions Yani itikadi Finally Mwisho Amen Kukihote katia Inaweza kana na mungu na mwe toyu Mutu wako na mwito huu Kuma e ginya zedi Kutoka e baka zedi No kiugo Ni neno Na uti hatu wafuja ite Na hakuna mahali ya mefuja No kuhoteke Inaweze kana No guo ni guo jagiri iluo Na ni guo nae wagiri iluo Hivyo divyo ni nestahiri Hata na wewe unestahiri Nacho niyo magadhi ya iguru Na hao di watayata binguni Piyake Sio wegine Kukiyote katia Inaweze kana aji Eke guoti Then there were Acts 2, 37, 38. Atumwa higi ni mwari wa miro kwa tatana na nyanya. Hidi atumwa ni neora lo, ato ape tuluma heo lo homzenu. Azuma kikogu mana hau giri nyingi maki yote. Azuli, towe katia. Wakati Petro walipua roho mutakativu, wase waka kusanyika waka uliza. Kina Petro kutedeji. Kuma hatu ya kiatia. Kutoka hapa tutedeji. Hii ni atawira kwa kandini kwa waku. Siju na abu waje kwa kandisa rako. No kwa wira uzome kwa achari ya. Sijui na kuwa uzome Uzoke uzome kia rumiri Uzari yeyo Wandiyo ni kile kundari Gani yonike ukeke kia bagini Sijui ni gani nilifu kucho No kukuro Ukuro Ukuro Ukeke lukitao Sakaramendi Hekini utakuwa banyo sakaramendi No petro da meri yogo Lakini petro hako wabia wa hivyo Na meri yogo Hako wabia hivyo Wanda meri ya thie Thie wali na mariamu Hako wabia enda uoge na mariamu Utu wako ita mariamu Teke jari Teke gunya hanini yogo Kitie teo Wacha niguse kitogo Wacha niguse tu kitogo Niwe Mariamu ali hamwe na atumuo Unajua Mariamu alikuwa pamoja na mitume Aki hoya roho mudheru Aki omba roho mutakatifu Acts 1.14 Ali hawa aki hoya roho mudheru Alikuwa hapo aki omba roho mutakatifu Niwe atimudugu ito Mariamu Ali wawi thomokea mawe maiki Unajua Mariamu alikuwa wakanisa na maji mengi Niwe ali wawi thomokea kwa jina diomi Unajua ali yokea na luka za maraika Niwe ya ni mwawai ala mara jina adhiyo miwo Madhiyo ata mereu Gina no makiwa kaya amari ilo tene yate Mariamu niwe aliho Waka kaenda kama mureli Najua Mariamu alikuweko Niwe mena vetru Nari aki othe Matia nile Mariamu ate Mariamu Nukia ni na mwuru guo mwenye mwuru guo ke wala homudheru Wale hawaku wabia Pia Mariamu siyo kia na kijana yako No Hapana No Hapana 
Mari homa kitu ni kinya Mariamu. Allahu ya munu hayo. Alikuwa hapo hata Mariamu akiopa roho mtakatifu. That's right. Kunyita ushike hapo. Mudu tamwitoe wa kihotatia. Mtu kama mtu huyu atawezaje? Mweli nae kinyara ya bere. Unaabua tubuni hiyo ndio eh, hatua ya kwanza. Mweli nae tubuni. Ado mwe matirilaga. Watu leo hawajua kanisa. Join in, join in, join in, join in. Ni kujiunga na kanisa tu. Ile ile si akipete kote, chuga. Chuga ya upete kote. Chuga ingia 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 kwa mmoja wa kodo. Kuja vile ulivyo, kuja vile ulivyo. Uko ole ole, uko ole ole. Uko ole ole. Ati uko ole na nyao uko uko kidogo. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. They were told you repent. Inasema tubu. Hatua ya pili. Eh kinyara ya kere. Kila mmoja wenu. Omwe wito. Mkabatizwe kila mmoja wenu. Mbatizwe katika zainia. jina la Yesu Kristo. Omwe wanyu zaini wale tu wale mwadha ni Alamu, Kristo. kutoka hapo Alamu. mtapewa roho mtakatifu. Na kuma hao ni moko hayo roho mtheru. Hiyo ita kwa kushiyalo rege. Hiyo inaitwa kuzaliwa tena right? mara ya pili. Kushiyalo rege. Kuzaliwa mara ya pili. Na kushiyalo rege ni kugatiri. Na kuzaliwa iki mara ya pili ni kusema. Lea bere wa shiyalo oe modo. Mara ya kwanza ulisabuwa kuwa mutu. Lea kere wa shiyalo wegai. Mara ya pili unasaliwa ukiwa mungu. Ando wale asia lelege ni muhiriga wa agai. Wale wa mesariwa mara ya fili ni familia ya mungu. Last scripture. Then what kini ya maru wa maji wana. The letters of John. Tamuda hita mwote kere ote. No hatra atho maha itu. Na wamba munisame hetu. Ni hapa tu ni nasoma tu. First John chapter 3. Hey. Sorry. First John chapter 3 verse 8. He that committed sin is of the devil. Is that an amen? Uria we hagia no amushukani. Ono kondo ikandiko kama ikaka kidalika na huyu mutikedekere ona koka uthome thaini. He that committed sin is of the devil. Uria we hagia ucio no amushukani. Mutenda dhambi ni wa shetani. For the devil sinners from the beginning. Dodo shaitani yaturaga yahagi yakuma kiabiriria. Kwa sababu shaitani mutenda dhambi tangu mwanzo. Okay? Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. Uria wa dio chere tuone gai ucio dehagia. Yeyote amezaliwa na Mungu atendi dhambi. Ashira kwatia. Anazaliwaje? Akerira. Anatubu. Akabatizwa na mai mai gedhini wa Roma na Yesu Kristo. Anapatitwa na maji mengi. Acha akaheroho homo dhenu. Bwana Yesu Kristo. Anatoa roho mtakatifu. Ucho de hagia. Huyu atendi dhambi. Ndio ake. Kwa sababu ya nini? Kaikuna kitumi. Acha nikwambie sababu. For his seed remaineth in him. Todo bego ya yake itura gadhini wake. And he cannot sin. Na dagehota kuehia. Because he is born of God. Todo ashiare tuo ni Ngai. Tikiletia. Ngobe egoshiero ngobe ngobe kizariwa ngombe ikola wona begu ya ngombe inakuwaga na begu ya ngombe kwago degiri ya mahiti kwa hivyo haiwezi kula mafupa ni todu wa begu ya sababu ya be na ngombe begu yake ni ya ngombe na nature ni ya mahiti na ngombe ni mfano ya abaya haiwezi kula mafupa kila kishe yetu ni gwi ile imezariwa na umbwa kina begu ya gwi iko na begu ya umbwa na kitigira dhara na haiwezi kula ile dhara Ona kigea takiwe ogodhale no dona mukirio. Hata ishipenda na munawani ndani naona munakura. Kitu kidogo ni wako wewe kote. Hakuna kitu iko ndani yake ya kufanya. Kitu kinabe ubegu ni kula kije. Kwa sababu mbego ndio inafanya. Ubegu wao ni wagwi. Kwa sababu ubegu yake ni yaumbwa. Kwa ni matulo wako tuna Kristiano hii makinywa joi makuga hii. Kuna watu wanaishi wakiwa Kristiano wanakunywa pombe wanasema mtikua kaodo kaini mwikala hamu. Amusikie amusikie japo yani. Amwikala akiria hii. Eh ni munakaa. Ni kojero ogwo ni ire. Ukuniambia mimi hivyo ni. Litango litaburi ikaira hau logwe guige kalia mahidi uge. Ni kama kondoo ikama hali. Mshirage buri atire. Yani umba inatazama mafupa. Tuwekavulia mahidi ogwo tuwekwa kaodo. Yani umba inaambia kondoo tukikula mafupa hivi. Ikiwa kwero kwa kwa buri, ukuria buri kwa kaya uli mwamu za buri kwa. Yaani ukiuliza kondo inasema hiyo ni ujinga wa aina gani? Ndio kwa niko mtu shia itoragia. Uli ujinga mwamu za buri kwa. Hiyo ndivyo mtu amezaliwa na Mungu anasema. Mtu kala hadu the kunywa mai mai hu kama dhamiri. Akikaa mahali ya kunywa maji baridi kama mtu. Uli mwamu za buri kwa. Yaani ni ujinga wa aina gani? Kwa mtu wake mwake kanua. Hii ujinga aina gani mtu anaakiza moto kwa mdomo? The seed of God. 
remain a renew. Bego ya gai etu raga dhina wake. Bego ya mungu inaisi ndani yake. Kingori no omela nikamuthi yali. Galatia Galatia 5:19. Kingori ya musome ya mwisho sasa. Galatia 5:19. Wale ngwa bya kumera leo. Asasa ni 519 519 519 19 oh 19 eh yeah. sorry sorry na rere maudu ma kemwiri maria maudu ma mudu wa kemwiri mudu wa kawaida maria meka go ni moyo wega eh ni moyo ku na moni ma ya na moni ma ya o maraya na meriria mathuku na urathoni na kuhoya mihianano na kurogana no thu na kugitana na uiru na marakara na garari na kwamukana na murutani mahitanu Nike go shumekira na kureyo. Okay, kama nuka mihau. Kureyo. 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 Ulevi. We muhuja. Na we na we na we na chupa johi. We 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 ni muhubiri na uko na chupa ya pombe. I don't care who you are. The Bible says that. Biblia ni guayugete. Na ni maji ututai namo. Uwe situwe shi ni wahau. Hali hagi. Atukaya kuheneka. Ati adongo za batuwa chunama kekele mchi wa matu ini. Usitaka ni kwa hizi hacha pa nani. Kwa hawa wataikia pinguni. Kureyo. Kule, ulevi kunywa johi ukaleo kunywa pombe unakuwa mulevi wewe ndio kwa tie nie nie ta kwa tarike ta idano nie die ndaraleo wewe ka yoga ni sigana ngine anasema kama jiji afika huko chupa tano sijalewa ya dhima kana wewe mulia ha mungu anapima umelewa mpaka wapi eh eh na maruga mara mai na gonyebo itagireire eh ona maudu magita macio eh na ha uhoro wa muri kumwira ati nama nama ota ule nama ota nama ota ule adamu elire eh na maria bere uh -huh. ati adu alia meka mauru tamashio, tamashio. matikaga iluwa dhama kiwa agai matika igia hawata igia eh unuwe ni uladhi matu ini utaladhi sasa si unajua ni nani ya naenda bikuni na ni nani ya hendi tika kwa ya aishi umela ya maigu hadu hendi wacha kuchukua wezi unawabia wawe kwa Tukere mahali fema tuwa kere hadu hauku matu ini hakuna mahali kama hapo kwa bikuni tuyo uye gathirikari choke uke hati oh, ukrisi ya noe ukiipa mahali ya serekari ya narudi unakuja hapa fala fala tutika kane ulo wa muigiri hata barabara hatu jegi ni vile tunaiva na nigomote hiyo ni makanitha todo wako toga andivoza muna hesimua na makanitha ah. nini matajiri ni mwekali mwukile mwagora ni vizuri mulikuja mwkanikuta Kwa hivyo wakiki thoma na odiko thoma Kwa mahali fakini Kwa zoma na sita zoma kwa zovu ya Nitalikia Nimemaliza Kwa hivyo kuhoya Sasa anaomba Let's pray Heavenly Father Tuwacho kilia gado Nimweke umwadha nitu Wakwele shikoshi yaku Thank you Nimweka wakuno tigu waku na ulio heti ya doa ya ukiri liria mwadhani Ile ito kinya Ona moe maudu Kontra leno godilo higa Ona metiketi ya kontra leno godilo higa Ni makiri liria Mwana ni ya ugima Na mwana ni ya gaitu Oga idhene wao Thina wabila kutulazi mwana kutulithia Tiyati chiko chia kwa chima na chama mwono haleo Na ni makiri liria Mwadhani ito ona udusio Na oyu wadi Na wama la adhimeno duogbo Ito teithi ya maudu ni mothe Ito higa halewe Then why to our other Mother Jesus Christ? Amen. Amen. Toko la ado amoshe mokeha tunata tumahoere. Nataka watu wanyumbani waje hapa ili waombewe. Ado amoshe kaidli. Watu wanyumbani, watu wanyumbani waje hapa waombewe. Brother Korea, you can just be there. All right. Tunataka mugu alide hawa watu na hawa ngoze. Na hawa fariji katika meoni mwao. Tunajua kile kimefanyika kwao. 
Somebody like me, I've lost my mother. I've lost my wife. I've lost my brother. Recently, within one year, I lost about four relatives, very close relatives. So I know what you are feeling. It's so hard. You don't know where to start. You know what to but I can only commend you to one person. That is God. God can make a difference in your lives. You can make things easy. He can make things happen. He can fill the gap in a very miraculous way. So just believe him with all your heart. That's what we are praying for. Let's pray. Blessed Heavenly Father. We know you are here with us. And you can see this family. And you saw the needs that they have right now after losing their mother, their grandfather, their grandmother, their auntie, and whatever Lord she was to them. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that God you give merciful to them. Help them, Lord God, and start with them in the time of the difficulties. In the times of this grieving moment, I pray that you console their hearts and fill your heart with satisfaction and joy to know that their mother had to go because each one of us has his own time. We pray, Father, that you help them, Lord, to be wise and also to unite them, Heavenly Father, even in this time, that you will be able to do things together. Dear, dear Father, grieve together and plan things together for the purpose of the future, and especially for this home. I pray your grace will be with them, and your wisdom will be with them, and your grace will keep them every hour. Keep them, Lord God, with the understanding of what is right, and to follow what is right and what is just. Grant it, Lord, unto them, and be with them every moment of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, I pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord will bless you and the Lord will keep you. Amen. Pastor Kamwati, take over from here. Muskai chini kutoka hapa tunamaliza. Ile nyumba tumetayarisha kwa ajili ya mama yetu. Wakuje karibu.
Just one minute. Just one minute before we start providing the body to the grave. If you give me your attention for just one second. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. If you shall be in the new earth, you must be born again. Amen. Our precious mom, what we are holding here, what we are putting in this gasket, is earth. Is not mom. She smiled as we had. She laughed. Why not that? She had gotten a stroke, she could just have laughed out, out completely. Somebody said the other day, when you lose everything, and then you lose your mind, there is only one thing remains, and that's your soul. You never, 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 at any one time, forget who you are. You may not be able to express yourself. And you people who think sometimes when somebody is unconscious that they are not hearing what you are saying. They are hearing every word. It's only that the doctors who are there with their permission. <laughs> it's only that they are not able to respond. They are alive. They are real. We are not burying, ma'am. <laughs> no. I have the unfortunate year of burying my mother my sister and my wife within a very short time, within five months. This is the first funeral of a seeing. So it's not easy for me. I had really pushed and pulled with Pastor Gwandaru about it. I didn't know he also lost his loved ones this year. Friends, it's a choice. Where do you want to spend eternity? There is no way I will enter heaven, new earth, and new heavens with this old earth. There will be a new earth. And the people who will go in the new earth will have a new earth, which is made of eternity. I will not read any more scripture, brother. I don't know how to tell you to hold my Bible. John. I will ask Pastor Mwenda to pray as we lower the body. Let's pray. Precious Heavenly Father, we bow our heads this afternoon with much thanksgiving in our hearts. Lord, as we have heard the testimony of our mother, and a few weeks we were here fellowshipping with her, smiling with the comfort of her heart. Little did we know that the Lord was preparing to come and snatch her away from us. And we come to celebrate her life, well lived, as we have heard today, that she chose to follow the fellowship, to follow the word of God, which we have heard this, this, this morning or this afternoon, the ways of God, when she believed the Lord Jesus Christ, baptized according to the word of God. And Father, she has served thee, as like Paul of old said, I've run the race, I've finished the course. And this lies a crown of righteousness for me. Hallelujah. And on that 15th day of the month, she looked up and the angels packed her away. Amen. As we have heard today, we are not here burying mom. She's a young girl, teenager in Gloryland. Yes. We are burying the house that she dwelled in. For we came out of the earth, and to the earth shall we return, who was spoken of the body, but not of the soul. Yes. Father, we commit our children to thee, O God. As a human being, we feel them. We feel what they are passing through, the pain, because we are not made to die. May you console them, Lord Jesus Christ. May you be with them in this trying moment, 
and may the grace of God be with them. As we lower the body to the ground where it, was, where it came from, we bury the body of our mom in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, according to your word. For you said anything you do, in word or in deed, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We commit this occasion to thee now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As you roll the body, let us, let us start rolling the body. Paul says, For the family, for we know if our other house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we know. John, we know. Victoria, we know. Rose, we know. The rest of the brothers, Justice Rika, we know. This is just how she was dwelling in. So we are rowing it back to where it belongs. Warua Narea. Hallelujah. What a hope, what a joy. God, may God take away everything from me and give me what I have had today. Just to say yes to God's word. Just to say yes to God's word. As we see. Do we meet? Do we meet? Oh, until we meet, touch Jesus. Do we meet? Till we meet? Till we meet? God be with you. in the bosom of Abraham. She read a message book every day. God be with you till we meet. You can only meet her if you are born the way she was born. Till we meet. again and there is only one way you will ever meet your mom as we had this morning this afternoon if you follow the way she followed there is only way only one way I'll meet Virgin Mary is if I follow the way she followed there is only one way I'll meet the first Pope Peter is if I follow the way he followed is that the truth I mean you can you can't take this way, go to Nanyuki, and we meet in Nairobi. <laughs> there is no way, absolutely no way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.
and God. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, I'm waiting for you to finish. I'll let you take your, 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 your carpet. And God told Adam, Because thou hast risen to the voice of thy wife, and I have eaten the fruit of which I said, Thou shalt not eat thereof. Cast be the ground. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns and thistles. May gua na me shonge. Ne shio de rego si aragira. Kyo ke ne kreke garuka. Ne kreke garuka. Has the world ever changed? Do we proud and after we are proud instead of the maize coming up which you have planted the first thing that comes up is what? Ne shonge. Ne ria. Because the word of God is That's okay. It's just a piece of paper. Please, I beg you, my friend, don't despise what you have heard today. Because this word of God never changes. There before he told the woman, woman, because you have hearkened to the voice of the serpent, and have eaten the fruit of which I said, thou shalt not, in sorrow shalt thou bring forth children. Has that ever changed? You can tell this red days yet he has changed. They'll tell you no. <laughs> That's a lie. If I bring a child today and I'm a woman, I'll have the same sorrow that Eve had when he brought forth Cain. Is that the truth? The word of God does not change. Hear it. Believe it. You have eternal life. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this house in which mom dwelt. It's a young mother. She would have chosen any way, but he chose, she chose your way. She constrained herself to live by this word. Precious Father, may she be my example as a daughter, as a son, as a brother, as a sister, as a neighbor. No wonder how beautiful and wonderful this life seems. It's so short. She chose the word of God. She lived by the word of God. And she could smile when she was leaving this body. Others kick and shout and scream, but she smiled. Because she could see the angels on the other side coming to take her home. We thank you, Lord, for wonderful life that we can hear all these testimonies, the best mom, the best sister, the best grandma. We thank you for such a wonderful life. And we know it was not hide Christ in her. Yes. Grant us your grace, Lord, to learn, to ask, what made this woman smile? Live the life she lived in spite of and live for Jesus Christ until her last minute. We bless you for the children once more. We thank you for this body in which you lived in as we return it back to the soil. In Jesus' name. Last the minister to the soil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we return the soil back to the soil. For dust shall return unto dust who are not spoken of the soul but of the body. Soil, back to soil. Dust, back to dust. And ashes, back to ashes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our last brother, God, to pray. Before brother, God, prays, I will ask the family members. Please give them some soil. Give them some soil. Give them some soil. Take, take a 
I'm calling it a spoon. Uh, Brother Guandaro belongs to the group. Pastor Guandaro belongs to the group of. Uh, I met them in 1974. They were called Gorillas of Christ and Ambassadors of Christ. <laughs> uh, Brother Guandaro, you still remember? Oh, the, the Gorillas. Uh, so when you hear him preach, he doesn't dare. He doesn't. Well, I won't say he doesn't care because he cares enough to preach the truth. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Well, as the family to together, once you hold the soil together, family members just put the soil in. Just put it in. Put the soil in. We're not burning, mom. Mom is lasted in Jesus Christ. It's the body she lived in. She sacrificed everything to live for this word of God. She sacrificed her fame. She sacrificed what we would call enjoying life. For Jesus Christ and his word. Let me tell you friends. You are highly privileged. To have heard what you have heard. People pay money to hear what you have heard. And here you are hearing it for nothing. For free. The truth. The naked truth. The truth. All the truth. Nothing but the I really fear studying before I judge because if I ever told that, I don't know whether I would say the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And Pastor Gwendaro, thank you for preaching such. Anybody else who want to put their soil before I pray and cross, please, brother, brother. We surrender our rights unto you. We surrender the family unto you. We surrender even our hearts unto you, Lord. Let, them, let not the devil and the creeds of this world deceive us, O oh God. May thy spirit convince us, O oh Lord. May you give us soft hearts, Lord. May you break the hard hearts, Lord, that you may be able to drop out your word and live for it, Lord. We commit this family into our hands, and whatever is coming after this is in your hands, O oh Father. For in Jesus' name, our Lord, we are praying. God bless you. As soon as we are, we'll be instructed by our friends who are overseeing, and we appreciate each one you once more. For the family, please continue trusting that God is able to comfort your hearts, to comfort your souls. God can speak to you where no man's voice can reach. He is more than able and be strong. We are going on with this. Well, I, I, I want to be instructed. Uh, uh, Pastor Kingori, I want to thank you very much. Maybe you, you should come and take over. 
He is the pastor of this church here. I, I'm a pastor in Nairobi. Ni sisi watu ambao tunaambiwa tuende nyumbani kwa sababu nyakati zetu zimekwisha. Lakini unmesikia my brother he has shocked me. He is 70 years. My, I didn't know that brother Gwendaru you are 70. You can cherish a, a, a 19 year old very easily. God bless you. Appreciate you Pastor Kingori. Take over. Ah, uh, tukukia tele. Aratari amu mitekura ihu, ani togo iki ani togo moni hara, ani togo mera hara mo kinya. Na na. Then the cross ratis they should be fast, please. Yeah. Cross ratis. Nado matigadi e duda wa ceremony nato kuri na ilio kubukaidri matigadi. Nasema watu asiete baada hi kuna chakura. Ha tu kete shoki yeti tu abiri yego shoki yeti. Sasa ni kurudi cha mchanga. A mask, everybody a mask, please. I don't want to see anybody without a mask. I have heard of a land on a far away strand. It is a beautiful home of the soul built by Jesus on high. There will never shall die. Is a land where we'll never grow old. Oh, never grow old. Never grow In a land where we'll never grow old. Never grow 
wale wa kutoka Kangundo tukutane pale kwa gate tafadhali. Okay, okay.
Consent, please uh, make your way to the graveside. Ah, Nikulia Hujina Maria to Hadam with Rafosio, because I do my hotel to Hadam Mahua, who go to Hadam, to Hadam with Rafa, Mount Chokatriati, to get a Mahua. I do. I call her today. 
kaidi ya adwa mushi tuke tuhade mudarafa uyu adubya kanitha ah brother mai noka i think people are taking a lot of time adwa mushi rekia uhoro wako hada mudarafa riku mahauri riku gira mahoa haya tudira dira ga idu ha tukabiria na ya daughters kaidire tuke tuigirire Aide tu anyina kigo Daughters Mane na ifo ade ao Dewi kena dia sans, go, go. This one for is for the sans. Glad children. Ada mana muda kacau cuci? Cuci cuci. Glad children. Church, sisters. I need to move on.
for friends arata arata marafiki yaku ya dhahi dalil fafa tugochokeria gatho ntondo tugwa kuna dhasi yaku noa tutogoretie mwadhani kuma mahida marato bilidia mufago yo gai witu nitukuonete gai witu ona kuigwa ntuku igwite turauga ritwa ria kuri gochore abarari ona tugirio gai witu ni thengi mwadhani gai wako ni ndo maudu mothe mara mekeitwa turauga ritwa ria kuri gocho na ria barario ndifa waitwa matwine kuri ngendo igothio twenda gushi committee moko ino maku gai to matitu menya tugitere gai witu na twakinya ntuku kwira ni thengi Fafa ito matu ine dera adhimi dhiya kinyakiri ya kegireo Gekira adhimi ya gedele gedha hule fafa Kuhudhiru mwadha nigi tuke kakutu wa gerira Dako miti mwadha mwako ino maku gisho kia gadha maudu ino mwadha Taonde dhini wali tulaya kumwadha nte jiso kristo Da hoya onadashoki ya gadha Amen Amen 